Okay guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. Time to play Siege Win Story Quest. Court of Fontaine, okay I was expecting in the fortress but alright then. And make sure this is on. I do not want any interruption in the story. And however, I do not have Sea Dream right now. I got another Constellation Mona instead. <laughs> so, yeah, that will have to wait again. Court of Fontaine. Guess we'll go here then. And uh, just before we go there. Alright, let's go. Oh, wait. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Below. It's been a while. Whoa. Sea Dream, yes, but everyone else? What's going on here? Being skilled at something doesn't make it hot. Mm -hmm. This is interesting. Oh, and it's daytime. <laughs> What's popular today? Wonder what the occasion is. Cosmetics now on sale. Huh, looks like it. Oh, Sea Dream's here too. Mm -hmm. Hey there, Sea Dream. Hello there, Traveler and Paimon. I hope you're keeping yourselves fit and healthy. You bet we are. So, anyway, <laughs> what are you doing here, Sea Dream? The Duke insists <coughs> I take regular vacations in the Court of Fontaine. This one just so happened to coincide with a promotion for a new skincare product. So I came over to take a look. I like to keep so up with the latest it. industry developments when I can to help me with my magazine articles. Wait, you write for a magazine? Which one? It's called Beauté's en Fleur, and it's run by the Fontaine Beauty Association. I've done lots of articles about skincare for them, using the pen name Romaritime Flower. Oh, wow! You're Romaritime Flower? If Paimon's not mistaken, you're one of the leading figures in the Fontaine Beauty Association! This friend you re- <laughs> what? What's so weird about that? Everyone loves beauty! I really like this role. The staff at cosmetic shops are always so polite. And as long as I wear a big smile on my face, I always get the best customer service. Well, they sure don't want to make an enemy of the Romaritime Flower! Obviously, it's because of Sea Dream's love for beauty. Still a leader of the Beauty Association? That's incredible. The truth is, I study this field because I cherish my own appearance. It has nothing to do with being beautiful or not. Oh, the words of a master beautician defy comprehension. Oh, wait, you're saying that natural beauty is the highest form of beauty, right? Not really. Actually, Melusian aesthetics are very different from human ones. We don't view humans based on their appearance. If I had to describe our approach, I'd say it's based on... Uh -huh. cuteness. Oh! oh. <laughs> really? So yeah. Cute. Still, I really value my current appearance. And in the process of taking care of it, I've ended up learning quite a lot about skincare and stuff. Turns out, my knowledge and experience is pretty popular with beauty product lovers. It came as a big surprise to me, though. Oh, Paimon gets it now. But speaking of your appearance, yeah, how come you this look is a question anyway? we've been Are asking you, like, for a while. Only half melusine? That's what we thought. Half melusine. <laughs> but no. Ooh, wait, sorry, sorry. That was probably really offensive, wasn't it? No, I don't mind. Not mixed. Uh, I'm not mixed, though. There you go. 
I made a decision to turn myself into this form a very long time ago. This theory has been a, a long while saying that Sijun is a mixed human and Melusine. If you're but it's interested, not. I could tell you the story. A shape shifting story? Oh, heck yeah, <coughs> of course we're interested. I'm interested in this. <clears throat> Once upon a time. Okay. Oh. Long ago, humans rejected Melusine's. And Melusine's feared humans. Interesting. There was one Melusine who became fascinated with human medicine. Is but that no Sijun? human wanted her help. And there was one girl who liked Melusine's. So no humans would make friends with her. Or is it some other Melusine? So the Melusine became the Sijun? girl's friend. And the girl became the Melusine's patient. Yeah, patient. Yeah, this is Sijun in a Melusine form. Thank you, Dr. Melusine. Okay. <laughs> in this game of doctor and patient, a friendship was born. Then, one day, the girl fell ill. The Melusine was the only doctor to arrive on time, but the adult sent uh. her away. Scram! Melusines can't be trusted! <gasps> so just because I'm not human, I can't save my best friend? In desperation, the Melusine approached the frightening witch. She begged the frightening and begged witch? until she got a reply. Who's if this you witch? take this potion, concocted of sin, Wait, you what? will gain a human face and grow human limbs. I wonder if this witch is... You will lose everything that attracted this friend of yours to you in the first place. Oh. Can you accept that? The Melazine did not hesitate to for save very a friend. Long. Of course. On a rainy night, a little doctor oh. knocked on the girl's door. The doctor wore a hood and raincoat, maybe to protect her from the rain, but maybe also so to hide the secret. As a human. The little doctor held the girl's hand and treated her illness, just as she had so many times before. Dawn came, and the little girl's condition improved. But the little doctor was long gone. Aww. For she knew her friend would never recognize her again. And so, since then, I've lived my life in human form. Most people who know me just think I was born this way. Oh. So it was by a witch. I wonder if it's the Hexen Zertal witch or some other witch. Who gave her a potion that turned herself into human form? Oh, so that's how it is. I didn't think it would be like that. Ooh, a witch? A potion? Hmm. Why does this sound like a fairy tale? Trust me, it's a true story. It must be the way you told it then. It just sounds so... Uh... Yeah! Not every Melusine would take human <coughs> form to save their human friend! That must have been a huge decision. Treating patients is a doctor's duty. We must always find a way, even when the going gets tough. Ugh. It's so crazy Why do I have that a they feeling we might meet this friend? Just because you were a Melusine, especially when their daughter was so but sick. But how long was this? How long ago was this? Well, sometimes appearance can be a real barrier. But that was a long time ago. Long time ago? I like how I look now, anyway. How I long do you You're mean? super cute this way. Attention customers. Thank you all for waiting. Now, on behalf of our skincare partner, I'm delighted to announce that our exciting new product is now officially on sale. Oh, there we go. Let's right. have a look, shall we? Oh, Paimon, if you want to buy any skincare products, I'll be happy to give you some suggestions. Really? Personal advice right from the leader of the Fontaine Beauty Association? What an honor! Allow me to introduce our newest skin lotion, Butterfly Dew. 
I'm sure many of you have already read about this product's trials in the newspapers. To say that it improves skin quality is an understatement. This product gets its name from the way it transforms your skin and makes it glow anew, like a butterfly emerging from its chrysalis and spreading its wings for the first time. That's oddly specific <laughs> way of transforming. We are thrilled to have the inventor of this fantastic product with us here today. Please welcome Mr. Robot, a researcher from the Fontaine Research Institute. Ooh, now, Fontaine without Research further Institute? ado, okay. I'll hand over to Mr. Robot to tell you all about what Butterfly Do can do for you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm Rawat, and I developed Butterfly Do. Wow, what a looker. He's a researcher? Well, he's really challenging the stereotype. <laughs> it seems that everyone is surprised by my entrance. Or should I say, my appearance. I'm well aware that researchers are generally better known for their brains than their dashing good looks. In that regard, I do believe I break the mold somewhat. Of course, appearance is a skin-deep way of defining a person. And yet, one's appearance can be a very real set of shackles, pulling a person back in their life. It can rob a young person of their self-confidence when applying for a job, dissuade a young lady from approaching the one she loves. Our actions are at the mercy of our appearance, and we slowly become the very person that the outside world sees us as. Mm. Mm. But what if I told you that those shackles can be broken? If our appearance prevents us from changing, then let us first change our appearance itself! Wash away moles, birthmarks, and wrinkles, and they can no longer rob us of our confidence. Replace them with luster and radiance, and we shall never again hang our heads in shame. That is why Butterfly Dew exists. Its mission is to allow us to shed our pupae, undergo a complete metamorphosis, and embrace a new life! Metamorphosis. Well, whether okay. it actually works or not, after that speech, I might already be sold. Uh, Mr. Robot, could I ask if you've used this product yourself? He's gonna say yes, if he's gonna look like that. Of course, yeah, I yeah. tried it many times while I was testing it. You can consider me a product ambassador. Wow, then it sure works. Still, I don't expect to convince you just by blowing my own trumpet. So, could I get a volunteer from the audience to try it out? Oh, Paimon volunteers! <laughs> it's not gonna be Paimon, no way. Hmm? Seedwin. Oh! Oh? Oh, what an honor! It appears we have a giant of the Fontaine Beauty Association Ooh. here with us. Okay, he knows In that. that. Miss Seedwin, could we seek your most expert opinion on this product? Um, sure. Oh, is that a maritime flower? They say she's the pickiest user of skincare products in all of Fontaine. Here you go. Hmm. Well, it's very kind to the skin, and the absorption rate is high. Even for Fontaine, this is a first-rate product. Wow, now that's high praise. I'll take one at any discount. <laughs> all right. Well, all that okay. remains for me to say is, Butterfly Dew is now on sale. Think we should buy a bottle too? Are you paying for it yourself? <laughs> of course you bring up Mora. Fine, Paimon will pay out of her own pocket and even share it with you. There, does that sound fair? And if you're worried about whether it's the right product for you, well, luckily for us, Seedream's here, so we can get an expert consultation. Alright. And now we start it. Okay. <coughs> this is already interesting. You talk to the Raspers? Aww. I wish I'd saved up my pocket money. I wish I'd saved up my Primo Gems too. <laughs> Stocks are running low, so purchase soon to avoid disappointment. I was looking to switch up my skincare routine anyway. I'm gonna try this out as soon as I get home tonight. I'm buying for a friend, but I just want to check. This is designed for both women and men, right? Yeah, it should be for both. <laughs> okay. 
It's an honor to receive such high praise from you. To be honest, I was also hoping you might be able to point out some flaws in the product so I can keep improving. So far, everything is normal. But with most skincare products, the pros and cons twist. only become apparent with long-term use. But yet, this one has instant benefits. Improving skin quality without any obvious side effects. It's one of a kind. Don't worry, though. I plan to keep using it. And I'll publish regular reviews in Book Taste on Blur. You can read my thoughts there. All you need to do is subscribe. All you need to do is subscribe. <laughs> oh, I was hoping for a more casual conversation, but you are a beauty association leader after all. I understand if you want to keep this professional. Sea Dream? Oh, um, <laughs> excuse us, Miss Beauty Expert. But do you think this product is a good choice for me and him? Hmm? Wait, are you the renowned traveler? That's right, and by his side, the equally famous Paimon. <laughs> well, I don't normally handle customer questions personally, but since it's the traveler asking, allow me to make an exception. Butterfly Dew is made for all skin types, so no matter who you are, you can rest assured that it will be kind to your skin. If anything, it might be marginally more effective on Fontanian's skin, but other than that, it works the same on everyone. Why would it work better on Fontanian's? <laughs> In the interests of protecting my trade secrets, I'm afraid I can't answer that, Miss Paimon. Okay, then. Uh, all right, then. How about a friend discount? Save yourself the trouble. I'd be greatly honored to have both of you use my product. For free? Here, okay, take two we'll bottles take for free. Sure. <laughs> Yay, <coughs> no need to pay. <laughs> God damn it. What's the cash? Yeah. <laughs> I can see why you might think that, but please don't misunderstand. This gift is simply a token of my esteem. There's no business motivation behind it. To me, finding new customers for Butterfly Dew is about meeting kindred spirits, fellow admirers of physical beauty. I consider it a labor of love. Admirers of physical beauty? Eesh, that's embarrassing to say out loud. It sounds so shallow. It's nothing to be ashamed of, Miss Paimon. Most people claim to desire inner virtue, but it's still physical appearance that turns their heads. This is a fact of life. It's only natural for people to desire to become beautiful. And that's exactly what inspired me to choose this research direction in the first place. You're right. Everyone loves beauty, don't they? Ah, look at the time. My apologies, but I have other things to attend to. I'll leave you with these two bottles of butterfly dew, and I look forward to seeing you again. Hi, Mom. I see there's no need for you and the traveler to use this product for now. No need? Why? Uh, yeah. why? Is there a problem with it? The quality is fine. I just think there's room for improvement. I think I could add some ingredients to the mix to make it more effective. You didn't want to say that to him just now? You said it was all alright. Really? Yeah. Then why didn't you tell Reward about exactly. that? Researchers are a very special breed of human. You can point out their flaws to their face and they won't mind very much. But if you tell them that someone else could do a better job... Ah, that's true. Ooh, now that'll make them really upset. That's true. If I'd mentioned it, he probably wouldn't have given you those two bottles for free. Huh, fair enough, that makes sense. If you're interested in the more effective version, I can write up a list of ingredients for you just come get me once you've gathered them. When you say more effective, you mean it'll make Paimon even prettier? Ooh, how can you say no? As for me, it's probably time I got back to the Fortress of Maripede. I mustn't leave the infirmary unattended for too long. Alright, see you there then! <laughs> okay. <coughs> We've talked with everyone already. Collect the materials on the list. What? One there and one underwater. Sure. Oh yeah, we can see the the stuff on the map with wait with chlorine, right? Okay, I, like, I do not have CG. <laughs> Okay, that, that, that doesn't matter, that's not important. Why here? Just up ahead, Traveler! The ingredients for C3 should be nearby! 
Alright, we're going... We're gonna fight this. Uh... Yep, we're gonna fight that. No effect, so... Yeah. Good thing I have chlorine with me right now. Tainted Hydro Phantasm Extract. This totally ran random stuff there. Okay, sure. I missed the challenge. Uh huh, another, another monster underwater. I forgot to off the alerts again. God damn it. Great! That's everything! Let's head to the Fortress of Merapi! Concentrated Transoceanic Pearl. Okay. Oh, really here? Okay, that was where I tried to pull for Sidrin. <coughs> Is here too. See, Jin is here. Whoa, and a patient. The infirmary is packed. Please, you have to believe me. I saw it with my own eyes last night. Another me. He looked exactly like me. Do you use the potion? Uh, the the potion, the skin cap thingy. Got it. Okay. I've written down everything you told me. Now, I have a few tests to run. Take a deep breath, and don't worry, it's nothing to be nervous about. First, which finger am I holding up? Two fingers. Your index finger, but... Okay, no. <laughs> you, my mental state is fine. I'm not crazy. Very good. Now, on to the next. Hey there! Your Grace, it's been a while, huh? Ah, too, too. Indeed it has. I would offer Another you some tea, but I'm afraid the timing is unfortunate. Duty calls. Okay, what happened? No worries. Actually, we were looking for Sea Dream. Do you, uh, know what all of this is about? This inmate came running to the guards in a panic, claiming to have seen his exact doppelganger. A doppelganger? Like, Doesn't seen that just another mean someone one else kind of looks like him? Yeah. And that's what I thought when the report first reached my desk. But we've inspected our records. No one even vaguely resembles him. Did he, like, see himself in the mirror and thought it's another him? Considering how certain he is of what he saw, I can only surmise that he's having some mental issues. Don't think it's so mental I issues. brought him for a medical evaluation. Alright, very good. Take a sip of water and rest for a bit. Mm. Evaluation complete. I couldn't find any symptoms pointing to a physical condition. I see. So, do you still believe there's more likely to be an issue with his mind than his body? I have to assume so for now. Psychological issues are more difficult to detect. At this stage, we can at least confirm that he is in command of his cognitive faculties. The rumor mill will go crazy if word of this gets out. Guards take okay. the reward for a period <clears throat> So far, it's only one, but if we see more people like this, must have something to do with the thing though. The Mara Shose Phantom has requested my cooperation on the case, otherwise I'd deal with this myself. Sorry for the trouble, head nurse, but I'll have to leave this to you. No problem, your grace. I'll add him to my observation list. By the way, we have a couple of guests here who've made the trip just to see you. I imagine it must be important. You probably won't need to add them to your observation list, though. Oh, Traveler, I'm on, it's you. Hey there, Seedream! It's actually not that important, but... I'll be in my office if you desperately need me. Goodbye for now. Okay, bye-bye! So, uh, Sea Dream. 
But you mind waiting for just a moment? I have another patient to see. Uh, just find an empty bed and take a seat. I won't be long. I mean, all the beds are empty. Oh, sure. Siege Wing, we've brought him. And he seems to have taken a turn for the worse again. Is it the same symptom or...? Okay, don't panic. Let's start by sitting him down here. Lemon had no idea how busy it can get for Siege Wing. Maybe now's not the time to ask for her help with Maybe Maybe care. it's not even related. This is just their problem in the fortress. Alright, yeah, we just have to wait. Good point. Besides, it might actually be interesting to observe her at work. Well, this could hurt. So I suggest you take a deep breath first. What? Did his face melt? What happened to him? Um... Again, skin care thing. I think it's still related. I, I, I don't believe that it's not related. It's anyone's guess. His face melted off shortly after arriving at the fortress. But since he's a serious offender, he can't be allowed out for medical treatment. Just arrived. Best we can do for now is ask the head nurse to give him something to manage the symptoms. Oh, well, this is going to be awkward. We still need to bring him to the Marashose Phantom for questioning. What if he scares them half to death? Will that be our fault? Mara Shosei Phantom? Does this have something to do with the case Riseway's dealing with? Hmm. Yep, it was a huge case. They bagged a few dozen crooks in one fell swoop. And this guy's the baddest apple of the bunch. He harmed countless people. And now, it looks like it's all finally catching up with him. This guy's the baddest apple of the bunch. He harmed people. You dumb gawking. Not yet. I need to check the severity of your ulcers to decide the right dosage. <sighs> Don't worry. We Melazines have a very different sense of aesthetics from humans. To me, he just looked like a little kitty with slightly scruffy <laughs> fur, but still just as cute. Ah, oh, that's a nice way to put it. Don't patronize me. Do I look like a kid to you? Just give me the meds and let me out of here. I already missed my cell. Hey, lose the attitude! You dare talk back to our head nurse like that again? Your days are numbered! Oh, it's fine. Okay, I'm going to apply the medication now. Tell me if it hurts, alright? Look how nice Sea Dream's being. And he still talks to her mm -hmm. like that? What a nasty piece of work. Can I leave now? Wow, not a peep. Oh, what a brave little guy. Thank you, Sea Dream. And I apologize for the trouble. Uh, so, Traveler, Paimon, did you bring the yep. ingredients? Uh, we did, but we don't want to interfere or anything. You're busy saving lives here. Oh, don't be silly. I agreed to it, didn't I? Just hand me the <coughs> ingredients, and I'll make some time to whip it into the improved version for you. Take rest here if you want. Or, if you're not tired, I hear they're holding a new pancreation tournament in the administration area. Oh no, not that again. Um, or alternatively, yeah, is there anything else? we can help you with, Sea Dream? <laughs> That's right! Let us help you out! The it's the least we can do! Arc is over. We're not doing that again. Hmm, good point. Kind-hearted humans start to develop guilt if they accept free help from others. Mm, don't worry, I'll take a look at my schedule. I'm sure I can find something to treat this condition. I gotta warn you though, it'll be tiring work. So I suggest you take a break first, then come back and see me when you're ready. <coughs> okay. I mean, we just have to talk to see you. Just, just stop. Do we have anything? Else? Wait, let, let me see. Are the people outside there? No. Let me take this. Okay, free one star book. <laughs> Stop. Oh, yeah. We're ready, Sea Dream. What's our first mission? <laughs> I found the perfect job for the traveler. First, I'd like you to lie down in this bed. That's it. Uh, and what for? What for? I need you to pretend to be sick. Uh, okay. We done that before. What? But why? <laughs> Is it that difficult? I thought you did <laughs> a pretty good job last time. God damn it. Oh, 
Oh, so you knew. Yeah, he, she knew. I sure did. He was way more interesting than the usual malingering inmates. And you played along very well, Paimon. I observed you two for quite a while after that. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> but why do you need us to do it again now? Is it so that we can observe something going on here? Uh, no time to explain. My next patient will be here any second. Please just do as I say. <coughs> you can uh, <coughs> pretend like uh, you've got a nasty headache. Right now, and so. <laughs> throw in some dry heating for good measure. Sure. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm already asleep. <laughs> Pretending to be asleep. <coughs> oh, so cute. Hey, Doc. It's me. I'm only here because my mom won't stop pestering me about it. Ugh, so annoying. Well, your mother has enough on her plate with a busy job. Well, the last thing she needs is to worry about you being sick as well. I know, I know. I shouldn't treat the place like a playground. Shouldn't go swimming in the lower levels where we join up with the sea, because it'll give me a cold and distract her from her work. I thought I'd be able to have some fun here at the fortress for a few days, but it's always, don't do this, and don't do that. All right, sit yourself down and I'll take your temperature. Hmm. Your fever still hasn't gone down. Well, here's your medicine. One cup for starters, and we'll see if it helps. But Doc, it's so bitter. Do I really have to drink it? JD. I mean, I'll be fine, right? I've got an uncle who caught a cold. His fever went away on its own after a couple days. Can't you just write me a note saying I'm on the mend? I just need something to keep my mom off my case. Hmm. Is it lying that he's sick as well? Hmm. I sure can. You're a very brave boy, after all. That doesn't make sense, though. Brave? Wait. What makes you say that? Well, if you want to rely on your own immune system to clear up your fever, then you'll have to tough it out like this guy. Hang in there, traveler! Are you gonna puke? I don't get get you a paper bag! Huh? As long as you're tough enough to get through the nausea and dizziness caused by the high fever, you'll be right as rain after just a few days rest. Hmm, okay. And if I'm not tough enough? Now this sounds like he is sick, but he doesn't really need <laughs> that medicine, okay. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, wake up! What the hell was that? Hmm. Put it this way. At least you'll never have to see the doctor again, right? I... uh... I think <laughs> maybe I'll take that medicine after all. Okay, it's just, okay, he just doesn't want to take medicine, that's it. No, oh, of course. Here, it's still warm. <sighs> so bitter. <laughs> all done. Good job, you two. That kid really doesn't know what's good for him. <laughs> His okay. mother's a guard here. She's been working back-to-back -back shifts lately. But unfortunately, his father's away on a business trip right now. She had no choice but to bring her son here it. for the time being. He was quite happy at first. <sighs> he seemed to think that the Fortress of Meripede would be all fun and games. So you made us put on that act just to scare a kid into taking his medicine? <laughs> That's a pretty sneaky trick. Seems like there's a whole side to Sea Dream we never knew about. I mean, we know Sea Dream can be a little, you know. <laughs> it's a technique I learned from my teacher. Who's your teacher? Oh, you had a teacher? Was she a Melazine doctor too? <laughs> she was human. She passed away a long time oh, ago. Oh, you mean that girl? No, it cannot be. That's, she saved that. No, it cannot be. Oh, it cannot be the friend. Sorry. No, it's fine. I really liked my teacher, so it's always nice when I get to talk about her with other people. She was a traveling doctor. Traveling? And since she didn't have a clinic, she'd go out and visit her patients wherever they were. <clears throat> Dealing with the badly behaved ones was her specialty. <laughs> she used to say, Ahem, If 
If you can scare the little brats into taking their medicine, you won't have to hear them wailing and screeching when their condition gets worse. Huh, she sounds like a pretty strict teacher. Oh, strict? Well, it's not how my teacher saw it. She thought of herself as terrifying to kids. Yeah. Uh, being a terrifying and being a strict teacher is, can be two different things. I'm a teacher myself, a maths teacher, <laughs> but I'm not strict. Strange way for a doctor to describe themselves. Now Paimon's curious to know what you look like. Uh, oh, as it happens, I actually have a picture of her. <laughs> okay. She looks kind of the Madam Ping NPC look like. Oh, wow, yeah, okay, that'll terrify the kids. All right. Yep. All the children she treated thought she was a witch. Is she the witch you mean? Is your teacher the witch? I don't think so. Why does it all yeah. sound like you're mm. envious of her? Oh, because I am. If she was here, all the children would take their medicine without any need for tricks. The doctor who looks like a witch. True, they wouldn't dare try anything funny with her around. <laughs> it's not like the story that you meant, right? It's not the same witch, right? Oh, me, on the other hand, it's hopeless. Children aren't afraid of me at all. That's Understandable. That's actually a good thing, you know? Oh, my you don't have to be, be arriving now. Uh, terrifying. Would you mind lending me a hand again? Okay. Sure thing! On to the next mission! Another kid, I assume? Okay, we're not gonna we're not gonna show that. Okay, good. <laughs> Is it night time already? That flew by. You really have a busy job, Sea Queen. Well, thanks to you two, it was much easier today. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Should we get some rest? It's getting pretty late. Oh, uh, there is one last thing. I have to keep it confidential, so I usually leave it till after everyone's clocked out. Okay, what is it? Confidential? Are you sure you can tell us? It's fine. You're not living here anymore, so it's okay if you know. All, All it right. is, is I have to prepare some ingredients to make healthy meals with. Wait, you mean those healthy meals? <laughs> She's still doing that, huh? The, the, the meat, the sudden strange meat thing. Okay. <sighs> My patients refuse to eat any healthy meals I prepare in front of them. So I have to prep the ingredients in secret, then let the chef at the Coupon Cafeteria handle the rest. Considering even the chef's version makes people uneasy, it really makes you wonder what's in it. You wanna find out? I can teach you how to make it. That way, if you ever suffer from exhaustion on your future travels, you can prepare a healthy meal for yourself. It's really good for <coughs> you, you know? Just simple. Just cook, uh... Just cook, but... Fill it and then you get the strange food. <laughs> um, sure? Guess we can help out one more time. We're really going there? Okay. The ingredients are ready. Uh, now, put them on the table and add them in the order I tell you. First, we add the special slime condensate. Stir uh, it thoroughly, then pour it in. This sounds like salmon cooking. It adds elasticity. It looks just like tasty jelly, doesn't it? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah! Yeah, it really does! That's Until even... you remember it's slime condensate. <laughs> oh, that's why we we need the slime condensate and the hydrophantasm. Next up, xenochromatic crystals. If you want to crush them up into a fine powder, like powdered sugar. Okay, I need those. Wait, are those from Font of our Abroids? Are you sure they're edible? Finally, we'll need some high protein meat. Frogs are an excellent choice. Uh, you just I need, need more to of those to upgrade. Okay, and then you're left with some lovely tender meat. Frogs? Oh! Frogs! Uh -huh. And we're done. All that's left now is to pack them in the lunchbox. Well, even we are not going to eat it. <laughs> Sorry, but we had Yesterday in the production zone, <coughs> I noticed an inmate who's been working for two days straight. That means it's a healthy meal for him tomorrow. Sea Dream really does have the inmate's best interest at heart. 
So we're going to Wolsey. Okay, we're gonna give that to Wolsey. Sure. Yeah, maybe we can get the welfare meal. But... Okay. Can we get the welfare meal first? Ah, never mind. <laughs> ah, head nurse. <laughs> Got some extras for me? Just the one today. The serial number's on the lid. Sounds good. I'll make sure it gets delivered. Sounds like they're talking in code. Thanks for your help. Oh, it's no trouble at all. I only wish I could do more. You work so hard for all our sakes. I'd happily lose a little sleep if it meant helping you out. Uh, that won't do. If you reduce your sleeping hours any further, your health will start to suffer. Hmm, alright. Nurse's orders. I'll do as I'm told. But you take care of yourself too. Alright. Done with work for today. Thanks for helping out, you two. Seems like the guards and staff here have a lot of respect for you, Sea Dream. In just one day of helping you with your work, it feels like we've done a lot for the fortress. Uh, head nurse, please wait. Uh, I'm sorry to disturb you this late at night, but uh, I think you'll agree this is urgent. Oh no, what? Okay, what is it? Just relax and catch your breath. What's the matter? The guard at the observation ward, Odalon, he told me to pass on a message to you. Uh, one of the inmates there, the guy suffering from possible hallucinations, well, he seems to have made a sudden recovery, and now he wants to apply for permission to leave the ward. Wait, the guy that sees another person of him just suddenly okay now? Oh, I didn't expect that. Ah, uh, already? If you were right to tell me, I'll have to examine him and make sure he's well before we discharge him. Okay. Looks like we've Still got one job as medical assistance left. We'll mm -hmm. come with you. Alright, that's so sudden, and let's get our food from the YouTuber brand. <laughs> okay. Oh, I forgot again! Ah, never mind. Whatever. I always forget to use that. Hey, mint salad. Alright. I didn't read the slip, whatever. <laughs> At least this is what they asked me to write. Any dialogue? No. I think I bought everything, right? Just checking. Yeah, just food only. Uh... Okay, one more job to do. <coughs> So far it's just describing CG's job and then some, something urgent. Let's see what this urgent thing is. I mean we know what is it but why is it? This is our place. What's it? Ah, head nurse, you're finally here. I'm so sorry for all the trouble I've caused you, but I believe I have now made a full recovery. After giving it some thought, I'm sure that I was probably just seeing things. It's stress related, I imagine. I'd been working long hours, so I definitely wasn't in the best state of mind. Hmm. I totally understand. Still, yeah, I have check. to give you an examination before I can discharge you, okay? So, take a deep breath and don't be nervous. It'll be the exact same procedure as we did this morning. But we can start whenever you're ready. But just think of it. Before this, he's seeing things. But everything was normal. Will this be the same? Uh, again, so sorry. I was in such a state this morning, I barely recall anything. Would you mind taking me through it again? Wait, now I think about it. What if this guy is the... Is the duplicate person that he saw and now he's trapped somewhere? Like I said, maybe it's a mirror thing. And then... Maybe, I don't know. Well, not at all. It's a lot to remember. First up, we I have a little this is not the same thing. Just <laughs> concentrate and you'll be well, fine. I might be wrong. To start with, which finger am I holding up? He's not seeing one. Your pinky. 
That's wrong. Right, Alright, <laughs> all indicators seem normal. Okay, I thought I thought it showed the same finger. Okay, it's a different finger. Okay, and it, and it's normal. <laughs> yeah. all right, so it then. was a stress-induced hallucination after all. Well, we've certainly had previous cases of mental illness caused by our work, which is why I carefully observe everyone in the production zone. <sighs> I wonder how I managed to miss the signs this time. Please, head nurse, you shouldn't blame yourself. I'm just still adapting, that's all. Pushed myself too hard, and I guess I couldn't take it. Thanks for looking after me. I'll be as good as new after a good night's sleep. Unless it's just normal. And if you can There's no such okay, thing. I know I'll sleep better back it was in my just good old the... mm. It can't be difficult to relax in an unfamiliar environment. Alright then. You can leave the ward. I suggest you take two days off to focus on your recovery. We'll take you off the observation list for now. So, you're officially discharged. Great. I can't thank you enough, head nurse. Mr. Odilon, could you escort him back? Of course. I'm on guard duty in the administrative area tonight, <coughs> so nothing will go wrong. You have my word. Okay. That was so sudden. Guess you're finally <laughs> done for the day now, huh? Yep. Uh, uh, but I still haven't gotten around to making that improved lotion for you yet. Oh, no rush! Seriously, it's super late now. You should go get some rest, too. Well, tomorrow it is, then. Good night, Traveler. Good night, Paimon. Hope you sleep well. Oh, don't you worry! We will! After a productive day of work, we're both gonna sleep like a log. Yeah, sleep tight, Sea Dream. See you tomorrow! Hmm. So far, everything is like if something weird happens. It's normal. There's not nothing weird about it. Okay, it's just her work, and suddenly something urgent is. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> I was expecting some twist somewhere, but no. So far, there is no twist. It's gonna be. There's gonna be some twist some, somewhere. Alright, it's 8 o'clock. <sighs> Paimon really did sleep like a log. Let's go find Sea Dream. Where did we sleep? <laughs> Alright. So what is it this time? Let's see. Oh! How is the infirmary even busier than yesterday? Is that the same guy or? Uh, oh, it's yeah, it's that guy. Uh, I have a few people here for a checkup, so uh, you might need to wait for She's while. just more busy now. <laughs> this is just like normal of our work. Uh, we our work sometimes can get busy too. <clears throat> no problem. Anything we can do to help? Uh, there's a bit of a complicated situation here. I'm still getting to the bottom of it myself. You have to believe me. I'm telling the truth. Don't tell me you're seeing illusions now. Hmm. You're in a medical facility. Keep it down. Please, listen to me. I'm not Gascon. I'm Ui. Hey. Oh, something's happening here. Okay, this is the twist. So that person wasn't... I don't know. You're a horrible liar, you know that? We get all your mud shots with the arrest warrants. It's clear as day that you're Gascon. Something happened to him. You mean because of the way I look? I don't know what happened. I just woke up like this. And you guys dragged me in here for an interrogation. I brought you here to figure out what's going on. If you truly are the victim of an injustice, yelling isn't going to achieve anything. At most, it'll delay your vindication. So you're saying he is who? This guy? Alright. I get it. This is nuts. Yesterday's interrogations went fine. And now this. Good morning, your grace. So what's going on? I, I forgot the NPC name, so I'm, I'm a bit confused as well. Remember the case I mentioned yesterday? The one brought to me by the Mara Chaussee Phantom? Uh huh. Well, we've been questioning the inmates involved this morning. Every single one of them is claiming mistaken identity. Oh. 
is again is this something to do with the skincare thing or something like people's okay people's appearances change into someone else's that's what's going on right now huh that's even weirder than what that guy was saying yesterday the thing is none of them have been able to provide any evidence whatsoever to support their claims Questioning them further got us nowhere, so for now, we've brought them to the infirmary. And we thought yesterday was as busy as it got for Seedween. Okay, so this is weird now. So not everyone in here is someone else? We've compiled their statements. Have a look. Perhaps are we there's gonna, something we missed. Are we gonna do the thinking again? I have a feeling it's gonna be the thinking again. Poton, who's this Poton? I'm Honor. I have applied to go out and see a doctor, but when I woke up, I was in another cell. Unbelievable. Okay, so honor has become Poton. I'm not Gascon, I'm Who Wheels. Today should have been the final day of my sentence. I should have gone free. What gives? So he was supposed to be released. He's supposed to be Who Wheels, but he switched to someone else and. He switched to someone else and Gascon. Now he's Gascon, okay. I'm Eric. Why does stuff like this always happen to me? Now there's no way my release papers are getting squared away today. So Henry is e Henry is actually Eric. My name is Odilon. I'm a guard. I think I was attacked. This isn't me at all. This is a guard. Okay. That's weird. Wait. Everyone's someone else. Appearances have changed. Release? Interesting. The inmates they spoke of in their statements appear to all be due for release today. So everyone that is supposed to be released will switch off or something? Hmm. I noticed that too. If that's their plan, they're underestimating us a little. Every serious offender claims that there's someone else who just so happens to be due for release today. And they're expecting us to go along with that. All the more reason to be cautious. Lumber Czar, check the release list for today. Make sure no one gets processed. We're giving you an excuse, though. Mm -hmm. Just say we're out of form. <laughs> and that we're furiously just printing an more excuse. as we speak. Uh, okay. And then that would make people furious because you're, you're supposed to get released, but... Everyone's something. Something's happened, I guess. I'm on it. Finally, it's some twist. That our group of serious offenders somehow found a way to switch places with inmates who are about to be released, so they can walk out right under our noses. That's what. Uh, that's what's going on here. We did consider that possibility. But. But I mean, just look at them. They match the warrants. Period. How could there have been a switch? Appearances can be changed just like see doing human form so in someone else's human form again I don't I want to uh, link it to that skincare thing it, might, it must be related but I still don't have any proof mm, only if they're dead ringers for the inmates due for release I suppose I gave you that name list yesterday to assist in your investigation did that help Yes, the inmates' mugshots were attached to the list. The first thing I did was check for lookalikes, and I didn't find any. So it's not lookalikes, it's not the... Well, there is though, someone said that there was like a doppelganger. The only other thing that stands out to me is that their voices sound a little different today. But it's not exactly hard to put on a fake voice. Ah... Voices sound different. So their their appearances change. Their voices are still the same. Oh really? Hmm. What does our head nurse make of all of this? Uh, give me a moment. I think I have a way to confirm whether there's been a switch. I know it's not time to change your dressing yet, uh, but please bear with me. Oh, this face melted off. Right. So this does everyone's face here melted off and he got switched off with that guy. Huh? Isn't that the guy from 
from yesterday? <sighs> this should be Honore. She has very severe facial ulcers, which require an operation in the hospital at the Court of Fontaine. I authorized him to leave the fortress for medical treatment under guarded escort. Yes, like I told you. I'm not Potten. I'm Honore. So there has been a swap. Well, I can see what happened in Potten's case. But how do you explain the other inmates? <coughs> These not souls. Me their souls switched bodies. Are you? I don't think it's souls. There's, uh, there's no proof of that. I think it's like s this skin skin melted off. Everyone's skin melted off and switched or something. But there's there's doppelganger here, so, so I'm not so sure, sure. No. I believe it mm, was their faces yes. that got switched. Yes. The method is a bit like replacing a tooth. Take the bad tooth out, put a false one in. Mm. And actually, I think I can prove it to you. Traveler, Pylon, do you remember Eric from the other day? Uh-huh. Yeah, sure do. I don't remember who's who. Then you can be my witnesses. To start with, Please fetch the inmate who claims to be Eric. Wait. Again, I don't remember who's Eric. <laughs> God damn it. I forgot who's Eric. <coughs> I didn't pay, pay attention to their names. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Um... Where's the new thing? Ah, uh, it's just this thing. Who's Eric again? Oh my god, I have to remember which NPC was it. Oh, was Eric the guy that was uh, okay? Find the suspect who claims to be Eric. Oh, okay. Who claims to be Eric? Uh, you have to remember back uh, this one. Who's Eric? Henry. Okay, okay. Thank goodness. Okay, I don't remember who's who. So, you're Eric? Yes, head nurse. It's <coughs> me. You do believe me, right? I need to do another examination on you. Same procedure as yesterday. Okay. Uh, Alright. It's the cognition test first, right? So I need to concentrate. Okay, so he remembers. Now, try to recall if you can. The last time we did this test... Pinky. Which finger did I hold up? Uh, I believe it was... Your index finger. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. The first person... The first person that did the test was, the, was uh, Eric. The last person was someone else. Okay, okay. But, but that means... It wasn't the same person. Uh -huh. <laughs> so basically, last oh, night, the Eric said thinking he again. saw another this, him this music. suddenly recovered and applied to leave the observation work. The Eric who said he saw, Yeah, he saw another him. But then that person was someone else already. Seedream did another test before letting him leave. But that time, she held up her pinky finger. That's why she did two times. And it's a different answer. Okay. Huh? Uh, I don't know about any tests last night. There was nothing to do in the observation ward, so I went straight to bed. Then I somehow woke up in a high security cell. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah, the second Eric wasn't Eric. Hmm. Well, in that case, there is a reasonable explanation for the strange events of the past two days. So... What exactly happened? <laughs> We're gonna do some thinking here, definitely. The gang of serious offenders wanted to break out of prison, so they identified a group of scapegoats, namely inmates whose terms were mm. almost up, okay. and planned to switch appearances with them. They can do that. Last night, when Odie Long was on duty, they ambushed him and had one of their groups switch appearances with him using their face swapping method. So they can that swap allowed faces. them to avoid scrutiny from the other guards. Then, once all the other inmates were asleep, 
Odilon spent his night shift carrying out the remainder of their switcheroo plan. However, they made one mistake. Henri changed his appearance to match Eric's earlier than he should have done, and ended up being spotted by the real. That's why that's a doppelganger. Real Eric came to the guards for help, but we didn't know then what we know now. So we put it down to hallucination and sent him to the observation ward. Ah, okay. That makes sense. So it wasn't a mirror thing, it was actually someone pretending to be him. However, since one of the gang members was posing as a guard, they simply changed real Eric's appearance and had their Eric take his place, muddying the waters even further. Right! Because I put Eric on the observation list by then, and no inmates on that list can be processed for departure until I discharge them. Hence why the imposters had to pull that little stunt to get fake Eric off the list. Yeah! It all makes sense now! The dude cracked the case! Well, I can't fault the reasoning. But I'm afraid that we ruled out the possibility of face switching very early on in this process. How so? Criminals altering their facial appearance to commit crimes is nothing new. In fact, one of the explicit duties of the Malazines in the Marachose Phantom is to identify criminals in disguise. We carefully examined all the suspects, and there is no evidence that any means of disguise were used in this case. So you're saying the Malazines can tell that if they are disguised? Huh. Well then, how do we explain all this? <coughs> so how did even Sidrin did not realize that? Or... So far. It seems more likely that the gang stole documentation belonging to the inmates due for release, and are using that to commit identity fraud. Mm. Actually, there is a potion that can completely change someone's appearance. Ah. If they use that, even the Melazine wouldn't be able to detect it. There is a potion that can do that, and Melazine can't detect it. A shape-shifting potion? So it's a potion, huh? Forgive me, head nurse. But this is the first time I'm hearing about it. If such a potion truly existed, it would jeopardize our entire yeah. investigative and process no use, the Mar -Show -Safe to use Melazines to You size. certain of this? Yes, I am. But... Please, trust me in my professional opinion as an experienced clinician. At the same time, without any solid evidence, it's pure speculation. Yeah. Hmm. If we can round up all the inmates suspected of switching places, then have a little talk with both sides, we might just get our answer. Yep. Let's do that. Yeah, get get them all. Okay. Get everyone here. Well, it was our negligence that meant we had to come and conduct these post internment interrogations. And I know it's put you <coughs> out. <sighs> we'll do it your way. Okay. Your grace. Bad news. I paused the releases like you asked. Uh... We're too late. A bunch of people already got processed two hours ago. And they probably have done some more switching than me. I checked the list, and sure enough, it's all the people who gave statements. Two hours ago? That's before today's interrogations began. They had this all planned out. So there really was a switch after all. <sighs> Duh. They really pulled the wool over our eyes on this one. We should be able to catch up with them if we leave now, right? Not if that potion is real. They yeah, can just switch faces again after leaving the fortress. Then we don't know. It might be someone and else. Now. If the Marachaux says Melazines can't even spot them, we wouldn't know where to start searching. Yikes! So we're at a complete dead end! Uh, we lost them. Or do we? Well. Technically, there is one more lead we could follow up on. We were only able to arrest this gang thanks to the help of a researcher from the Fontaine Rawat. Research Institute. I believe his name is Rawat. Linking back to the skincare product thingy. So he's our hero here? Oh? Rawat? Yeah. Isn't that the handsome guy we met at that skincare promotion? I was thinking my link. Is this finally the link? But this sounds like he's the hero here. Handsome? Uh, maybe from a human point of view. I just remember that he specialized in potions. Now that's suspicious. If he specializes in potions, he's been using potions for the skincare thing. 
One of the crimes this gang is charged with is the manufacture and sale of illicit drugs. According to Mr. Rawat, okay. they appear to have stolen technology he developed through his research and used it in their operation. They have stolen technology he developed. Okay. That, yeah, that doesn't make him a bad guy then. At first, he thought it was a typical case of intellectual property infringement and he tried to negotiate with ah. them. But once he discovered their criminal operation, he reported them to the authorities. Okay. Thanks to his report, we were able to swoop in and arrest them <coughs> all in one go. What a hero! But that took courage on his part. No doubt. This is worth following up on. As the one who snitched on them, it's highly likely that Rawat will be targeted by the escapees. That aside, since he's negotiated with them in person before, yeah. there's a chance he'll have some additional what, then? information. Understood, Your Grace. Oops. My team and I will head to the Fontaine Research Institute right away. In the meantime, please keep an eye on the face switch victims for us. Of course. Um, Miss Morgan, I'd like to come along and help you catch these criminals. Yeah. Uh, huh? Why is that? Well, I'm the one who discharged the fake Eric last night, so I feel partly responsible. Yeah, the reason we want to use Sidrin in, in our party. <laughs> Don't say that, head nurse. Your focus was on the inmates' health, and rightly so. We can't ask you to help with arresting criminals. That's our duty. Just let us use her. Hmm. I also have a more personal reason. Cotton is a patient of mine, and if I don't get a new batch of medicine to him in time, his condition will get much worse. <sighs> Look, head nurse, I completely understand where you're coming from. But arresting criminals is dangerous business. And if anything happened to you... None of us can afford to take on our responsibility. <laughs> Don't worry. I can defend myself just fine. <sighs> you say that. But still... If I may, Miss Morgan, Sijuin is the one who raised the potion hypothesis, and I'm sure she has far more expertise on the topic than your team. My suggestion would be to bring her with you. Yeah, that's a good one. And if you really are worried for her safety, then... Get new villa. <laughs> okay, get us. <laughs> Yeah, we are coming anyway. Ah, there you go, right on cue. Knew I could count on you. Okay. Well, since this plan has the Duke's blessing, far be it from me to refuse. We should head off immediately. Time is of the essence. Well, this is the team I'm going to be using anyway. I have new Villette with me. <laughs> Already. And I don't have Sijun. Okay, where is this? Wait. Uh, yeah, Haunted Research Institute. <coughs> um, who's this? Greetings. Uh, sorry to impose, but I'm afraid we're here on urgent business. And we're gonna need you to cooperate. This is this from the World Quest? The Marsh is a phantom. Let me guess, you're investigating some more legal research? Not this time, no. We're looking for a researcher. <coughs> Do you know where we might find Mr. Rawat? Watch the twist that Mr. Rawat is actually the leader here. Mm, Rawat? <laughs> Mr. Handsome. Oh yeah, Mr. Handsome, right? He actually doesn't work on site here very often. There's a handful of researchers in the nearby area who know him pretty well, though. You can see what they know. Just a handful? I don't figured he'd be the most popular guy around. Well, I guess you could say he's popular. At least on a superficial level. He's blessed with good looks, so he tends to make a good first impression on people. But in all his time here at the Fontaine Research Institute, I don't think he's ever had a single deep conversation oh. about his research with his peers. That's no way to make real friends around here. Hmm. Okay, so it's not really... That much of a research. That's so weird. He definitely didn't come across like a recluse at that product promotion. Yeah. Oh, I don't find that weird at all. He definitely didn't strike me as the kind of guy who's uh, good at making friends. I mean, <laughs> I don't want to judge, but okay. Really? Sure. I couldn't tell. Must be a nosy perception thing. Okay, we should talk with his acquaintances. But we also need to check the research institute for any clues. 
Let's split up. It'll save us some time. Sure thing. We'll go ask around among the other researchers with Sea Dream. Paimon's suddenly kind of curious to know what everyone really thinks of him. Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> One person of oh, all of them are outside. One right there. Okay. Let's talk to. Excuse us, are you Audrey? That's me. What is it? Are you close friends with Rawat? We're trying to find out where he is. Close friends? <clears throat> you mean because I told him I had feelings for him once? Oh. I doubt I'm the first or last at the Institute to make that mistake. Why would you single me out as a close friend? I should have known, really. Men like him, they just enjoy being surrounded by fawning women. They're not interested in a serious relationship. Okay. <laughs> we were just kind of wondering if you might know where we can find him. Why would I know where he's at? I barely know him, and he probably doesn't even remember me. Ugh, this is getting annoying. Shall we go ask someone else? Hmm. I think she knows her lot better than she cares to admit. If we leave now, it might be a wasted opportunity. What are you gonna say? Maybe, but we're not going to get much out of her while she's in this state, are we? She's displaying symptoms common among people in love, if that's what you mean. But I know a cure. It's curable? <clears throat> oh, we're oh still not God. closer to finding Mr. Ruai. Oh, by Thank this you, point, man. he could be in right. grave danger. D danger? Wait, why are you looking for him again? Oh, uh, that's right, yeah! The Marshal Say Phantom said that he's been targeted by some pretty bad people. We need to make sure he's safe. What? How has this happened? He seemed fine when I last saw him, and that was only a couple of days ago. I um, just happened to run into him, of course. Oh, I see, I see. Well, do you have any thoughts on where he might be right now? Okay, but this is purely out of concern for his safety. If he's not at the Institute, he might be at his mother's place. I heard she raised him alone, that they had it pretty tough financially, and these days she's housebound due to illness. He makes regular trips back home to check on her. Oh, okay. Do you know the address? Nope, sorry. I only found out the thing about his mother because it came up in conversation once. I was just trying to find out more about him, you know, so I could get mm -hmm. to know him better. When I told him I had a crush on him, I offered to help him take care of his mother. And yeah, maybe that was a stupid idea, but did he really have to yell at me for it? It's like, fine, I can take no for an answer, but what's with the temper tantrum? Unbelievable. <sighs> These guys only want to show you their charming, mm. well-groomed exterior. They can't stand it when a few home truths shine through. Uh, well, it's like her love syndrome is flaring up again. We need to find out Mr. Rawat's mother's address. Let's check with the Marshal's the officers when we regroup. If we talk to the other two, did we get nothing? And this is the only lead? Cool, sounds like a plan. Was it? Oh no, we have to, we have to get uh, the other three more. Okay, uh, two more. <coughs> okay, so both are below, so let's go there first. This. Hey there, are you NT? NT, okay, side the mess. What do you want? We're here to ask about Rawat. Any idea where he might be? We were told you were pretty close with him. Close? <laughs> Not sure that's the word I'd use. He wouldn't even let me use his patent. Huh? It's been a good few days since I last saw him. I don't know where he's at. Go ask someone else. Um, would the patent in question happen to be related to the new skincare product he developed? <laughs> yeah, kinda. Butterfly do, or whatever he calls it. <laughs> I heard he made a tidy sum off of that one. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Keep going. Most of the other researchers here focus on mechanics, energy, stuff like that. 
I get why he wouldn't be interested in having anything to do with them. Mm -hmm, understandable. Different research uh, topic. Field. But I'm studying codings. There's a huge overlap in our areas of research. Why would he refuse to work with me? I bought his product once and noticed it contains a unique substance that might have applications in codings too. If it worked out, I could probably make as much as he's making. Uh, so he doesn't want he doesn't want to work with him. Don't get me wrong. I had no intention of plagiarizing his work. I was hoping to get official permission to use his findings in my own research. Follow the proper procedure. It was all above board. I would have had to pay him a license fee and everything. Yeah, it's like continuing his research. It should be fine. But despite that, he turned me down not once, not twice, but three okay. times. It's like he's vehemently opposed to the idea of anyone else making the I kind think, of money he does. I think he just doesn't want to share his secret where it might be something bad. He wants to reveal it to him. Because it's something bad. Huh, so is robot antisocial? Or is this <laughs> guy just jealous? Or both. Well, it doesn't look like we're gonna get any info about Rawat's whereabouts from him. Let's go! Oh, wait, one second. Mr. Anti, next time you go shopping, you should buy some Buell fruits. Peel the skin, steep in water, then drink. It'll help calm your mood. Uh, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> I forgot to talk with them again. They probably got extra data. Gonna have to cut this chat short. I have a patent application to write. Okay. I should have talked to her again as well. <laughs> right, I cannot run up walls. Wrong game. <laughs> okay. Well, I've told you everything I know. Don't you think it's time for you to go looking for him? Not that I care, obviously. Alright, sure. And the last person is... Bertram. Sorry to bother you, Sarah, but are you Bertram? Who's asking? Just some concerned citizens helping out the Mara Shose Phantom with an investigation. We'd like to ask you about Rawat's whereabouts, if that's okay. We're told the two of you are pretty close. Not anymore, we're <coughs> not. Turns out we don't see eye to eye. Oh yeah? Used what to? happened? Used to, but not now. <sighs> the thing about us researchers is, most of us do what we do for some sort of higher purpose. But not Rawat. All he cared about was how to commercialize his findings. He won't even let you work with him unless you sign a confidentiality agreement first. Also, he has better control over who gets which intellectual property rights. How are you supposed to get any meaningful research done working with a guy like that? I see. So he wants to make money by doing the research. Yeah, I understand. Now that I've got my own technical solution for my compressor, so not, uh, I don't need to work with him anymore. <laughs> okay. So that's what Rawat is really like. Yeah, so Rawat's not really the research type, but he wants to make money out of his research. That's it, though. We still like to know where to find him. Is that something you can help us with? Wait, you're... Yeah, I know you. You're the head nurse at the Fortress of Merope. Alright, then I'm happy to help you if I can. <laughs> okay. I respect the work you do. Medicine serves <laughs> the highest purpose of all the sciences. You recognize... Her, but you don't recognize the traveler, sure. Wow, turns out Sea Dream's got some real clout! <laughs> Thing is, I have no real way of knowing where he might be. I stopped working with him two months ago, and I've barely seen him since. So you have... I mean, what did you work on? But if you want my advice, I'd say go talk to the peddlers. There's a few he meets with every other day the or so. Peddlers. Maybe they know where he's at. Peddlers? Yeah, back when I was working with him, I noticed he met with them quite often. Wouldn't surprise me if they were involved in some shady ah. business together. Because it seemed like they went out of their way to avoid discussing anything in my presence. That links it already. This this peddlers has to be those guys in, who were caught out. So they are working together then. The little I overheard was about manufacturing and selling pharmaceutical drugs. Like I said, it's all about the money. 
Does he work with skincare products? Do those count as drugs? Um, who knows? I never cared to find out. He's the morgue robber, not me. Yeah. The trade secret thing is probably something illegal. That's why they're not sh he's not sharing with everyone because it's illegal. Thank you. You've given us plenty to work with. Welcome. Goodbye. And may we both reach new heights in our scientific endeavors. Okay. Well, that's all three researchers. Let's head back to the Nita point. Can we do this? <laughs> and, uh... If my research project works out, the development of underwater spaces should become much easier. Alright. <sighs> I tried to press T again. Okay, where am I going? B. So far, there's no combat. <laughs> you know, I started out thinking where Wyatt was a handsome researcher with a friendly and cheerful personality. It's such a surprise to learn that his peers have a different impression of him. So, what's your view of him now, Paimon? Hmm. A handsome researcher whose difficult upbringing turned him into a profit chaser with a chip on his shoulder? That's about it. So, your thoughts about his appearance haven't changed at all? Oh, that too. Uh, appearance probably different, but because he used it, it becomes... Uh, neat. Well, his looks are kind of a big deal. At least in Paimon's opinion. How did such a handsome guy end up being so antisocial? No. Even with his difficult family background, it just doesn't make any sense. It's... It's the product that made him handsome. He, he said he used it, right? So... Well... Let's see what, what it's actually saying. I don't you know. can't judge a person yeah. solely based on based their on appearance. Head nurse. Traveler. I assume you've spoken with the researchers. What did you find out? Yep. Virtue mentioned Rawat's involvement with some pharmaceutical merchants. Do you know if he's registered any pharmaceutical brands? Since he was a whistleblower on such a huge case, I ran a background check on him. Hmm. I don't remember there being any brands under his name. Yeah, so she's... Illegally, you know. Hmm, how strange. If he was so focused on commercializing his research and averse to sharing his technology with others, why wouldn't he have registered his own brands? Maybe he and his business partners needed to avoid public scrutiny? You think he may have colluded with the gang? Yeah. Hmm. Well, the crime was manufacture and sale of drugs. And that would certainly be in his wheelhouse. We can't rule it he out. probably is part of it. Isn't that pretty unlikely though? He was the one who blew the whistle on them! Most children who come to me with tooth decay have suffered pain for a long time already, but they'll still try to hide the fact that they eat too many sweets. Grown-ups and children aren't so different in that regard. <sighs> hmm. If you say so! I saw him when he came to make his report, and I certainly didn't get the feeling that he was the type to collude with criminals. Perhaps it's more likely that they were coercing him. Hmm, okay, so still <clears throat> there's a possibility that they are not working together, it's just they are using him. You mentioned that he comes from a poor family. So, it's possible that the criminals approached him, asking for academic support, luring him in with the promise of riches. That's a possibility. By the time he discovered who they really were, he was in too deep. They had leverage on him, so he was forced to keep working for them. I've seen it happen many times <coughs> but before. But still, this is not... This is just speculation. That does make a lot of sense. It would definitely explain why he was so unwilling to cooperate with his fellow researchers. I think he w would have cooperated, but because of what happened here... Yeah, he was unwilling to. No wonder he's so unsociable. He must be on edge all the time yeah, with the game of crooks breathing down his neck. That makes sense too. In that case... 
The situation could be worse than we thought. If Nawab was working with the escaped inmates, they're sure to know more about his whereabouts than us. There's a good chance they'll get to him before we do. Based on the information we've gathered so far, he was last seen two days ago. If no one's seen him since, maybe we're... too late. Mission failed. Two days ago? So he went missing right after the product promotion! Oh. That was the same day he reported the criminals, too. Not a good sign. She reported the criminals. But the criminals I managed to escape. And now they're after him, so he's missing. Don't worry everyone. I believe we still have a chance. Since he disappeared right after blowing the whistle, it's likely that he's gone into hiding. Okay. Yeah. He must have been worried that they'd come for him. All the more reason to find him as soon as possible. The only lead we have at the moment is Where his is mother's it? house, which you mentioned earlier. See, think you can find the place? Yep. <laughs> when you register a brand, the Court of Fontaine requires you to provide a legal address. The one Rawat wrote down was in the outskirts of the city. That should be the place. Hmm. Okay, then there's no time to lose. Let's move! This better not be a trap. <coughs> please get... Please reach a domain where it's, uh, we get to use the trust during. Come on, I can't stand it really. <laughs> Why did I bookmark? Oh, it's the house. The World Quest house. Isn't it? Yeah, it's that World Quest house, okay. So, right behind it. Yeah, that's the house of the guy. Okay, so right behind it. Wasn't this supposed to be someone else's house? <laughs> we walked here to find... I forgot what we were finding. This should be the house. Mm, I'm pretty sure this was the address. <sighs> okay, I'll knock. No one's home? Someone's <gasps> hiding. Sounds like whoever's inside has restricted mobility. This seems serious, but what's the fastest way to get this door open? It's restricted mobility. It is the mother. Um, break the door down? No, no, I'll handle it. Let the expert deal with it. Okay. There'll be a mountain of paperwork if we damage a citizen's Must copy. be the mother then. Who's not well. Come down. Deep breaths. Remember your training. Control your strength. And... It's open! Okay. See. Take a few people and lie in wait. It's not really open. Keep your eyes peeled for any activity around the house. It's just hidden. The traveler, head nurse, and I will go inside. Okay. Oh shit, here we go. Wait. Um see. <coughs> um Are you seeing this? Is everyone like uh Ready to charge in or something? Are you hiding? Oh. No, don't look this way. I'm supposed to be hiding. Remember, captain's orders. Okay, so all of you are hiding. All right, I see. And this is one for NPC hiding as well here. Oh, what? Thank goodness I went here. And you're hiding behind the door. Okay, and you're hiding here. <laughs> okay, that's that's uh, some extra detail before we go in. Rawat's mother's residence. Okay, let's go. <coughs> Please give us a dream trial. 
Oh, is it just the? Uh, it's just the top. Yeah, it is. It's not really a dome. It's a house. It's it's too small to be walking so much. Okay. Oh dear! On the bed, there's an old lady. That's gotta be Robot's mother, right? She doesn't look like she's in any state to be answering our questions, though. Now I remember the trailer. We could try, but she is very ill. We mustn't force it. Does she look like the one in your picture, Sidrin? Or is this just similar? <sighs> well, doesn't look like Robot's here. She's the only one we can talk to. Yep. Allow me. Hello, ma'am. Might I ask if you're Robot's mother? We're trying to locate him. I just had a thought. Imagine if this Rawat's mother is uh, somehow the friend in the past. Imagine. <laughs> Hard of hearing, perhaps. But does anyone have a picture of Rawat? I have one here. I'd like to show you a photo, ma'am. Is this your son? Do you know where he is? Can she see? <laughs> Looks like this isn't gonna work after all. <sighs> She's not well. Well, mm. looks like we're out of leads. If Rawat's not here, things are looking very bad for him. Is it possible he could have avoided returning here because he knew he'd be in danger? That's true though. If he hides here, of course they know where he lives. Maybe. But if so, where do we look next? Maybe we should take another look at the Institute. Yes, so. They suggest we all return there now. <coughs> we found a good amount of useful information the first time. Or perhaps there's something we missed. This is our last hope. Anything to say to her? Maybe you... Sorry, officer. But could I stay here for a while? This patient yeah. requires some care. Of course. The traveler, stay with the head nurse. You're technically here as her assistant, after all. Also... I'd like some Marsha Say members to stay as well and keep an eye on the area. Right, there are people outside. Mm, why is that? If her wife knows how serious his mother's condition is, he will return. True. Got it. Okay. I'll tell the squad members in hiding to stay put and keep a lookout. Even if the squad members are around, he will still come in. Because it's, it's his mother. If he's guilty, Thanks for yeah. helping me out yet again, Traveler and Paimon. No problem. But when you say her condition is serious, do you mean... She's dying, isn't it? Yes. She's barely clinging on to life. Oh. Let me take care of a few things first. Could you pass me the towel over there? Yeah, of course. I can tell that her family has tried a lot of different treatment methods, including some very expensive medicines. Unfortunately, her condition is so multifaceted that a recovery looks all but impossible. Sweet dream. I'm on bets being a nurse must be pretty tough at times like this. Yes. It makes me a little sad. In Melazine's eyes, a human's birth, aging, sickness, and death are as much a part of natural law as sunrise and sunset. But human medicine can defy that law to some extent. In that sense, it is a science of miracles. That is why I became fascinated with it in the first place. But it was only after I truly became a doctor that I realized mm -hmm. okay. miracles don't always, don't happen. always happen. Even the greatest doctors cannot cure all diseases. Sea dream. But don't worry about me, Paimon. A doctor's duty is not to cure all diseases, but to treat whatever ailments they can. At the very least, I can lower her fever. <coughs> that way she'll suffer less, and she might even be able to see her son. Yeah, all the more reason to find Rawat as soon as possible, even if we don't catch those crooks. Yeah, huh, true. <coughs> oh, 
her fever is getting worse. Could I get some hot water? If Rawa doesn't come back, that means he's trapped somewhere. Sure, we're on the case. Uh, not far. Look for hot water. It's probably in the, on the table here. Oh, so Rawat did came back, maybe. Okay. So it's not here. There's already ready made hot water. Huh? Rawat's notes the way to the underground lab is written down in the journal. Did he purposely left it here? Family photos removed. That's weird. Anything else? Okay, I found weird things. And Rawat did came back. Found the hot water? <coughs> I sure did. And look what else we found. Do you think Rawat went to this underground? Maybe that's where his place is, uh, where he does his things. Judging by this journal? It seems like yeah, Rawat has a lab. private lab. There's a good chance he could be there right now. We gotta go tell Officer Morgan right away. Oh, that's great news. But hold on just a moment. The wet towel is ready. I'm giving you another injection. Are you feeling better now? <coughs> oh, it's alright. We'll go bring him back. Please hang in there. Thank you. Okay, this might end up being a sad one. Anyway, well, good thing we don't have to look at the map to find it. It's given us the location already. <laughs> <coughs> Probably we can use C twin in this lab. Come on, <laughs> it's been one and a half hours and we still haven't went into. Uh, the trial character. Oh, wait, it's not in under under what underground. Oh, it is. It is. Okay, everyone's just waiting there. All right. <coughs> everyone's here. It's Officer Morgan. They're already here. So it's we under came as soon yeah. as we heard the news. <sighs> I can't believe we were so careless. The most crucial information of all was hiding right there, in that room. We missed it. I uh, never thought of checking his house until now. Don't blame yourself. Mm. Right That's now, fine. we need to focus on finding a way in. There's a mechanical door over here! Hopefully the instructions in Rawat's journal will help us open it. Why do you think... Do you think Rawat really just did all this? So he lure us in here? To hide from them? Or... Working together with them? That's the thing. We still don't know if that's... If he's really hiding from them or not. It's open. Let's go in. No, it's not. It's not open yet. <laughs> Enter the underground room. Alright. Hmm. I don't think we need Nahida out here. I know we can play Hyper Bloom, but. Maybe Florina instead. Witness my magnificence! <laughs> Get all the fun things. <laughs> and I put Travis instead. Alright. 
Siege Wing Trial, finally. I still haven't done the test run, so... There we go. No bless, probably. Silver Shower Heartstrings. Yeah, and if you didn't see three... Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Uh, okay, anyway. <laughs> and her hole. We're probably gonna use this or something. Her, the lab is like the fortress. And her E. Oh, we get one of life. Oh, it heals Nubi Light. Okay, that's perfect. Door of Res- Oh! Oh, okay. It just disappears. It doesn't last that long. How did they get in here? Uh-oh. Captain, up ahead! Those it look like our fugitives! There's, there's no lock. <laughs> I forgot. So they found this place too? Don't let any of them escape! Ooh! Who's that image? You're so angry. Don't slip and fall. I want to use her only for now. <laughs> maybe, okay, maybe some help. Bow your head. One, four, four. Strike a bow. Alright, five. Hold still. I swear, it's for medical research. Okay, you can't spin to win with her. Wipe out! How much fun of life do you get? Well, she's not strong, definitely. <laughs> she's a healer. Captain, according to our list, many of the fugitives aren't accounted for. There may be others hiding deeper inside the facility. Uh, so these guys were just the lookout crew. The Mara Shosei Phantom. How did they find this place? Oh, the lawn. Oh, I Wait, eat. it's that guard from the fortress. Yeah. That's right. I'm on your side. Uh, I mean, the Duke sent me. What's the matter? Some sort of mix-up? Nah, you can't fool us. Mr. Odilon, didn't I tell you a few days oh, ago so that you need play to with, stop play with all it? field work okay, until so. you've recovered? Ah, uh, well, you know, gotta help his grace out. Share the load. <laughs> Officer Morgan, this man is an imposter. The real Mr. Odilon has no recent health issues. <laughs> what? But I... <sighs> Looks like the head nurse was right about the face swapping method. Arrest them all. DuPont, stay here and keep guard. And watch the exit. If we're not back soon, call for reinforcements. <coughs> Be careful, they might face swap you you guys too, so be careful. Got it. Let me see. Don't worry, we got this covered. Alright. Be careful. And we got a chest here. I better be careful with my uh Inventory, yeah? I think it's almost full. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, something I have to be careful with. Why are you chunks? Alright. We're going through the fan. Any hidden stuff? I don't think so. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, that was a trap. <laughs> uh, supposed to go down there. Okay. There's a door here. Don't fall. Yeah, we're not gonna fall. Well, we did. <laughs> um. 
it's uh, very obvious that it's good to go here, but any opponents? <clears throat> so many jars! Was this some sort of production facility? This scent! It's probably the ingredients used to make butterfly do. Okay. So it is something illegal, but what did they use? It broke here. How come they're all empty? Did it sell so well that he ran out of supplies? How strange. Why would Rawat choose to manufacture a popular product like that in such a difficult to reach location? Given our suspicion that he may have been coerced into the illegal drug trade, I would have thought that any production facility we find here would be used for illicit purposes. Perhaps Butterfly Dew is itself an illegal drug. Hmm. And it's something. It is something illegal, but we don't know. We never knew about it. Do you have any evidence for that claim? No. Just a guess. We need to find Rawat as soon as possible. He has all the answers we need. Understood. Well, let's not linger here. Let's go. Come on. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, so... We still... Yeah, I think <coughs> I think it's proof that uh, what is is working with these guys already. <laughs> What's this? Uh huh. I'm checking around to see if there's anything I missed. What's this? I thought there's something up there. A sword? Sure. Okay, we're just walking around. No enemies. Doesn't look like we're gonna get this door open. Let's find another way around. Come on, I expect expecting more enemies, not just those three people outside. Press this, okay. Cannot, uh, it's not connected. Rotate clockwise. Ah, okay. It has to be here, then we can rotate it, right? But where do we bring this to there? I guess. <coughs> so, what happens if we go there? Okay, it's stuck. <laughs> Go back. Move. What does this do? And it stops there. Wait, it's the other side. Did I miss something or is that somewhere I have to go later? Wait, 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 wait. I just want to make sure. Okay, no. This is flour, uh, no, flouring for now, so we can speed up a bit. Into the shell. How do we open that? Yeah. 
don't go there. Right? It's somewhere in there. Nothing to do. Uh, all right. Oh, finally some enemies. See you in the for now. I should make it long. a mechanic where we use the drink bubble or something and that means okay uh not just pushing trolley cards come on ah okay so here's a trickier puzzle Just have to bring it there. Oh, there's another one there. Why are there two trolleys? I mean, we can just push this there. Unless is there something we miss? Don't slip and fall. I mean, just go. I guess. <clears throat> okay, this one. This is tricky, but I don't know what to do with you. How do we activate this? I think you need two, two cards here maybe And then you can look No Don't fall. What are you supposed to do here? Are you supposed to go that way? Wait. <coughs> they don't specify what are we supposed to do with the cards here Am I supposed to bring it there? For some reason? No, why why would why would you even bring it there? I'm so confused. Maybe it must be this card and not this card, so I need to move this away. Is that what it is? What is this puzzle, man? Clockwise. I swear, that's it. That's all you need to do. Now the light is not real. Yeah, must be it. Huh? <sighs> okay, now it's blue. Sure. And where was the chest? I think it's in that room. There's another hidden. Okay, what's this?
This room's much smaller than the others. Judging by the implements on the table, this looks like a potion making lab. Uh, head nurse, over here. Rawat isn't Rawat and he must be someone else and he's changed into Rawat? Hmm. Perhaps they stripped him down, left the clothes behind and disposed of him somewhere else? You think he got switched with someone else as well or something? Yikes, DJ, where did that come from? <laughs> oh, what a tragic way to go. Especially with such a bright future ahead of him. Further on, Officer Morgan. Let's keep up the pace. Okay. <coughs> Just scary thought. <laughs> Where's that chest I saw? It's got a probably it's probably two Kumo gems, but where was it? <laughs> Too late. <coughs> don't slip and fall. I'm pretty sure I missed the chest. I don't know how do I get there. Or maybe it's still for the hit. I don't know. Oh. Okay, it's, it's, it's right here. Thank goodness. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Give me a moment. Let me power up something. Please don't be defense. Oh shit, I'm right now. Oh well. hours and this is probably the last part. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of people in there. Come on, you're the loud one. Are you serious? You're telling us that within a day our faces are going to rot like yours? Okay, so that's the fake who wins. Fontanian physiology changed dramatically after that great flood. And it's not as compatible with this face changing solution as before. Yeah, this is the guy the just side now. Side effects are as you can see. This is the guy that we. You said the pinky finger, right? This is the main villain here. So is he. Uh, we don't know. Why didn't you say anything before we all used it? Look, my plan got you all out of prison, didn't it? You'd have much bigger problems to worry about right now if the Marshal Say Phantom found out about your other crimes. Consider an ugly mug getting off lightly. Ugh. You're just lucky we didn't leave you in there after you disappeared on us with no warning. We only let it slide because we're former partners. Ooh. And now you have the gall to pull a <coughs> stunt like this? Okay, so they're former partners because he disappeared. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Partners? Make no mistake, each of us is only looking out for himself. If you place too much trust in others, well, I'm afraid that's your problem. You hit things for me too. 
Remember how you each had a spare potion? You kept quiet about it until we planned the prison break. Oh, and you didn't have a secret spare? Then do you want to explain how you melted your face off before all this? Mm-hmm. Guys, that's enough. Calm down. It is what it is. You can melt Arguing face won't off. change anything. What's the plan, Parton? I'm assuming you brought us here for a reason? You're calling him Parton. There is no plan. We followed him here on the promise of more juice. But it turns out, there ain't a drop here! Besides, what does it matter now, anyway? He already said. Even if we did get our hands on more of that stuff, switching faces again solves nothing. They're still gonna melt off eventually. So the melt face thing doesn't last long. I said enough Tell. arguing! Hutton, tell us the plan. The most practical okay, this guy's is to name is Hutton. Keep but switching to a new known. face before the ulcers can start forming. Keep switching to a new face before the ulcers can start forming. You mean you use ulcers? What the hell? That's gross. Continue using the potion. Keep switching when the ulcers start forming. So it causes ulcers when you switch to a new face. Then uh, switch to a face. Are you kidding me? This stuff was hard enough to get a hold of even when we had a supply. Now you're asking us to use it like skin lotion. After the flood, all but wipe the supply out? Oh, the flood destroyed the supply, okay. Well, there is another option. But you'll have to make a deal with me first. Money minded. I wonder. Okay, now we're talking. What's the deal? Okay, what's the deal? I have a document I took from that researcher that details how to make a replacement. Just give me one bottle of the undiluted fluid, and I'll get to work. You took from the researcher? Oh, okay. Uh, what's the problem? I thought you always kept reserves. Or do you really just have one spare bottle each? What do you think? That we were shipping them into the fortress of Meripede by the basket load? Well then, say hello to never showing your marred faces in public again. Ugh, I've heard enough! Get him! Let's see if that document even exists! Freeze! Marshal St. Fanta! Well... What? Who let them in? Officer Morgan, before anything else, please find out for what status. For what? I don't see her. Hand over the hostage now. If you want any chance of avoiding an extension to your sentences. Maybe he's not a hostage. This is just a speculation. We don't confirm it. <laughs> Spare us your condescending attempts to coax us back to ourselves. Oh no. You think we're looking to negotiate? Rawat is dead. Huh? Arrest them all! Don't let anyone get away! What? I'm so confused right now. Come on. Lodi, Lodi. See you in solo. Let's go. <laughs> Wrong game. This is, this is not the Dutch mechanic. Is it only you left? One more bounce. Okay, no. Okay, there you go, the bubble patch. And that's who said that bitch. Let's just do oh, one okay. of that and... Kind of solo, but I, I don't want to wait too long here. Oh yeah, what's the charge attack? I didn't try it. Oh yeah. Let's 
so little damage. God damn it, even the bubble didn't finish it. There you go. There's more! Okay, like, let's just finish. Screw it, screw it. <laughs> I'm not gonna waste time here. Even though I wanna use Eugene more. There you go. <coughs> hmm. Gotta say, I never expected to see the head nurse in combat. Mm hmm. So I see. patients respond better to a more aggressive treatment plan. Did we get everyone? Captain, we finished the head count. Pawn's missing. Oh no, you get him, let there. him away. We tried. She. Too late. <laughs> One group trying to arrest me, another trying to hunt me down. Good. I gotta kill two birds with one stone. <sighs> Wait, another trying to hunt me down. One group trying to arrest me. How did he get up there? There must be a secret passage somewhere. Find it! Don't waste your energy. I already sealed it off. <laughs> How naive. We have more people outside. If we're not back out by the agreed time, They'll come to our rescue. Well then, you better hope they get here in time. Why? Oh no. Okay. There's <laughs> some kind of gas leaking from the pipes. Be careful, it's poisonous. This is our distribution center, where we store the product derived from our source solution. We had to use special fire prevention methods to prevent contamination. The pipe network here was designed to emit a gas for firefighting. One little modification later, and it makes an efficient death trap. Oh, shit. Why would you do this? Your partners are here too. No, oh, please. If they can't supply what I need, they're of no further use to me. Besides, I can't have them exposing my potential whereabouts. He's a maniac! Come on, we gotta find a way to open that door! Go ahead, struggle in vain. Once the last of you croaks, no one will ever find me again. So long! Are you sure you're ready to leave, Potten? You haven't changed your dressing today. You can't cure my face, just give up. And what if I could? <laughs> oh. Nice try. You're just trying to stall me. Don't you worry about me. I'll find a way to cure my face once I get out of here. Oh, I doubt it. After all, Fontanians can no longer dissolve in primordial seawater. What? What? What the? How, how did you... What do you mean? Dissolve in primordial seawater? You mean that's the cause of it, or something? The key component of the face-changing potion is the fluid left behind by dissolved Fontanians. It might look like ordinary water, but it has some unique elements in it. That's why it's, that's why it worked better on Fontanians? Is that what you mean? Before the flood, all Fontanians were Oceanids, physiologically speaking. That's what you meant by the flood. Oh, it's that thing, okay. A potion made from that fluid could dissolve and reconstruct the phase of a Fontanian in much the same way as Hydroidolans change form. Theoretically, it could give someone any appearance they wished. But since the flood, Fontanians have become true humans. They can no longer provide the source material for this potion, nor reap its benefits. Are you saying? This potion is made from Fontanians dissolved with primordial seawater? Then their crimes are far worse than I thought. What? That's why it's more effective on Fontanians. It's the Fontanians dissolved. Oh, that's, that's so close. How could you know all of this? No, wait. <laughs> of course! Well, well. 
So that's why you have a human appearance. It also means that I have a formula you're unaware of. <coughs> the air's getting thicker. It's getting hard to breathe. Oh, that's the way to stop it. I might get to make a deal today after all. Alright, keep talking. How do you intend to give Sibin, me the you somehow saved us. Oh, it's not a formula, but a finished product. I have a bottle of it right here. What? When I tried Rawat's skincare product, I noticed it had a certain special component in it. So I had my friends gather some other ingredients for me, and sure enough, a little experimenting later, I'd produce the potion. I'm guessing his skincare lotion contains the fruits of your joint research? Uh... Huh. Impressive guesswork. Yeah, we were a supplier for some of the raw ingredients. So they're the suppliers. <gasps> but it only contains a tiny amount of the active ingredient. The effect is minuscule compared to the undiluted fluid. So it's so diluted, that's why it's not so... It's the same thing lah, this, this uh, change skin thing and also the... Yeah, it is the same thing, but it's, it's diluted, that's why. Well, I found a way to reverse the dilution process, giving the skincare lotion a similar effect to the fluid it is derived from. That's impossible. If I tell you some of the ingredients, I think you can figure it out. First, you need to combine Tainted Hydro Phantasm tissue with Transoceanic Pearls at a ratio of around 3 to 7. That's the materials that we took. Tainted Hydro Phantasms and Transoceanic Pearls? <laughs> I see! I can't believe I never thought of that! You just told them straight. So? Can we make a deal? Sounds good to me. There's a delivery pipeline beneath this window. Drop the potion in, and I'll release you all. Will he? Can we trust this guy? Nope. Not trusting you yeah. that easily. You're like those naughty kids who try to hide their illness. Open the sluice gate first, then I'll hand you the potion. <laughs> Even if you're not bluffing, your potion won't cure my face permanently. You really think you have any leverage here? I'm not closing the valve this time. But Clock's it. ticking. Fine. Then I'll just stand here with the potion in my hand. And when I faint from the poison, Smart. I'll drop it and it'll be destroyed. <clears throat> no. <laughs> Smart. But risky. <clears throat> it's opening! Disable that sluice gate! Jam it! Don't let it close again! That's more like it. In that case, a promise is a promise. Head nurse, there's too much poison gas in here. We have to leave now. Imagine if Sejin doesn't is not affected by this uh, gas thingy. <laughs> I don't think so. Is it? Yeah, it, it, it's all gas. Wow, it's actually. Do we get damage? I'm curious. Do we get damage going in there? Let me test. Can can we go there? C Jun is C Jun is up there. I mean C Jun is nearby. No, there's no damage. <laughs> Where is C Jun and the guy? Where was the pipe that it says to put in? Eh. Alright, whatever. <sighs> okay, let's get out of here. I'll get Sejuin soon. This is only the first day. <laughs> I hope. Now is too 
close. That button is a real nasty piece of work. Oh, don't be too quick to sit down. Moving around a little will help relieve the soreness. Same goes for you, Traveler. Oh, but Paimon, you should be fine, right? Swine fast is pretty tiring too, actually. Anyway, that's not important right now. Paimon's still shocked to learn that there's a whole criminal operation going on behind that skincare lotion. Uh, I had a feeling it was linked. There, there has to be no way it's not linked. Shame I ended up giving the improved version of Potten after finally making it for you. It's supposed to be oh, for us. I'll make you some more. I promise. It's supposed to be for us, but it became a potion for him instead. Okay. But now, where he, he escaped, did he? No, no, no! Please don't! Paimon doesn't want to use that stuff anymore. Still, it was a pretty good job that Paimon wanted to buy some in the first place, huh? It ended up saving everyone's lives! That's gotta count for something. Yeah, Seedrin was the one doing the saving. True. Yeah, yeah, Paimon was just kidding. Head nurse, I've done a final head count of our team and the criminals. Everyone's here and doing fine. We're ready <clears> to <throat> escort the fugitives back to the fortress of Maripede. Make sure they don't have those, uh, whatever they used to swap face, whatever, the potion thing. It's a shame that we didn't find Rawat. At uh, this point, I'm afraid he's probably deceased. No way, man. <sighs> what a horrible bunch. Especially that Patton guy. If he hadn't made good on that deal, we'd all be dead because of him. <laughs> no, we wouldn't. I always keep a whole bunch of antidotes on me for emergencies. And one of them neutralizes that poison gas. We'd have been fine, even if he hadn't opened the gate. Oh, so Cedrin has an antidote. Okay. But we don't need it. Huh. What? Then why did you give him the potion? If this is true, I must concur. Sorry to be blunt, but I think you made a bad decision by handing him that bottle. Mm, yeah, I kind of agree, but I did. Is that like is it was that a bluff or something? I wonder. Hold on. If he changes his appearance and flees Fontaine, it's unlikely that we'll ever find him. No matter how cooperative his accomplices are when we question them. No, you don't understand. I gave him the potion precisely so we could be sure where he'll go next. Wait, what? What do you mean? Are you saying... Oh, we gotta hurry. She won't last much... Are you saying Potten is wrong? What? You mean that was wrong? What? I have a feeling because we didn't see Rao what, right? And he said he's dead. He's not. You he was Rao what. Is that it? Okay, that was a twist. <laughs> that I did not expect. But maybe it was quite obvious, I didn't think about it. Muscle. I might be short, but I pack a mean punch. Of course, he'd come back if the mother's dying. Captain, you're just in time. While I was lying in wait, I spotted this crook snooping around, trying to find a way in. So I detained him. <laughs> Is that Rawat? It's true. Uh. Appearance. Oh, his face. Are you Potten? So, this is where you were heading, huh? What? This is how Potten looked before his face was marred. His current appearance matches the mugshot on his arrest warrant. Mm. I see. Okay, but why is Potten going back here? It's because he's Rawat, right? There's no there's no reason for him to come back here. Wait, so what's going on? Wasn't the whole point of the potion to disguise himself and escape Fontaine? Why would he change back to his original face and run right into our trap? Because this is Rawat's original face. 
original appearance. Right? Don't t don't make me wrong again, Ray. Enough of this nonsense. Let me in. I understand why. You better pipe down. There's an old lady in there who's very sick. No way are we letting a crook like you inside. <sighs> to heck with it. Yeah. Listen to there me. There you go. I'm her what? That, that's my mother in there. He's gotta be lying, right? Watch was a victim in all this. He was forced into it against his will. How can he and this monster be the same person? No. Forced against his will. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've heard all day. Back when I was being coerced, everyone thought I was colluding of my own free will. And then when I actually became a criminal in my own right, you all suddenly thought I must be under duress. Amazing what a difference a handsome face makes. Just save us the speech. Explain yourself. Yeah, that ex handsome face is his cover. That's what I want. You want an explanation? Fine. I'll tell it how it is. When I was just potting, the whole world treated me with contempt. This is like Sidrin with the Melusine in human form again. Ew! What do you want? Get away from me! That was the girl. Women despise me. Collaborate? <laughs> you don't look like much of a researcher to me. My peers scorned me. Mr. Potten, was it? I'm most interested in your research. Consider my offer carefully. I doubt you'll find other investment opportunities. Only villains would work with me. Only villains? You want out of the game? Forget about it. Turns out, I slipped up a little. Left your picture with some Mara Chaussee Phantom officers. Easy mistake to make. Now they've listed you as an accomplice and drawn up an arrest warrant. Wow. So I suggest you put any thoughts of running away in arrest. If you get caught by the guards for being in the synth business, yeah, you might never see the same day again. It's diluted. <laughs> there was no way out for me until I could stop being potent. Mr. Rawat, I. <laughs> um. I have something I'd like to tell you. Um. Because it's the handsome look, that's why. But now he doesn't like it because it's the face that attracts. I became popular with women. This new potion you developed is fascinating. Genius, in fact. Would you consider working with me? I'd be happy to sign a licensing agreement. Okay, so yeah, Potten and Rawat are different for everyone. My peers looked up to me. Oh, I'm very interested in your research, sir. You must no doubt have offers from countless investors, uh, so far be it for me to ask for a full collaboration, per se. I merely wanted to express my interest, and uh, no pressure at all. No Naturally. wonder he doesn't agree with all this tree. And the villains even began to fear me. Becoming Rawat showed me what a superficial world we live in, and I did not hold a grudge. After all, this superficiality could be made to work in my favor, or so I thought. But alas, the world seemed bent on finding a reason to make me despise it. Mother, I'm back. How are you doing? I am. Mother will recognize. Mom. Yeah. Oh, oh, what are you? Because you're not using your real face. I bought the best medicine Mora could buy, but nothing would cure her illness. Oh. In the end, I hoped she'd at least be able to see her son one last time before she passed, but... But you're using another face, which your mom doesn't recognize. When everyone else rejected me, the only person who cared about me was my mother. Then, when I became a rising star in the Fontaine Research Institute, exactly I was like unrecognizable to her. I have to let her see me again. Even if it means donning my own wretched, ugly face. Well... Is that enough explaining for you? Now do you understand? Let me inside already! 
Have you ever considered if you'll even be able to look your mother in the eyes? After what you've done, you found a way to completely change your identity. You could easily have escaped from them. But no, you chose to keep working with them. True. <laughs> Why would I want to give up on such a lucrative business? The profits were dozens of times that of the synth business, and it was all above board. So you kept being a villain just for the money? Villain? By what standard? Is doing evil deeds really what makes someone a villain in your eyes? Or does it all come down to the way they look? None of you saw a villain when I was wearing my other face, did you? You have no right to judge me! You're all just fake people living in a hypocritical world! I regret nothing! My mother would understand! You... You're a villain to the core! But especially that tongue! Honestly, I don't see a villain when I look at your current face either. Don't humor me. You don't seem surprised by my confession in the least. How long have you known the truth? Cedrina knows. I didn't know anything for sure until you chose to take that potion bottle and spare our lives. But if you're asking when I started suspecting you, it was the first time you came to see me at the infirmary. I had to confirm my suspicions. That's why I chose to join this investigation. Are you kidding me? A young promising researcher and a wretched criminal? What on earth gave you the idea that they could be one and the same person? Well, there were no visual clues. This potion's face-changing effects were very powerful. Even as a melazine, I couldn't see through the disguise. But I believe I understand humanity a little better than most of my kind. Humans have certain fundamental qualities that do not change with their appearance. Fundamental qualities, huh? So you think you're the one who's seen through me, do you? Most people probably don't know this, but I think I can guess what your deal is. Melazine constitutions are very close to that of water, so it stands to reason that the potion should work on them, too. You used it yourself, didn't you? That's why you have a human appearance. That's not it. Is it? Sea dream? Yes, you're right. Huh? <laughs> I'll bet it was back in the days when melazines were discriminated against because of their appearance. Well, that that really was a fairy tale, then. It wasn't just a witch. It was just the same thing. It's literally the same thing. It was either carry on living in the gutters as part of an alien race cast out by humanity, or become the head nurse of the fortress of Meripede, revered by all. Not a hard choice to make. It's a no-brainer. So you see, you and I were the same. And I'm the one who saw through you! That's not important right now. You came here to see your mother, didn't you? Well, I can grant you your wish. Huh? A head nurse. I'm not sure that's a good idea in his current state. Don't worry. Back in the warehouse when I traded the potion for our lives, I was doing it to test him. He was willing to risk sacrificing his only chance of escaping capture by opening the gate in exchange for the potion. All so he could see his mother again. If nothing else, his concern for his mother is genuine. I see. So before you arrest him, please allow him to see his mother one last time. The Traveler and I will accompany him. You have nothing to worry about. Yeah, it'd be very bad if you never get to see again. Alright. I understand. I don't trust this guy much. Be careful. Join the head nurse inside. If he tries anything, anything at all. Sure. Shout. So now it's potent, <laughs> not Rawat. <sighs> so Rawat was just a fake name. The Mom, real name is Potten. It's me, Potten. Your son. You, you recognize me now, don't you? 
Mom, what's wrong? I'm sorry, but I have some bad news. I examined your mother last time we were here, uh, and it appears that that's even due worse. to her prolonged fever, she's lost her eyesight. Now she can't even see. What? Your appearance no longer has any bearing on her ability to recognize you. But there True. are always other ways to remind our loved ones who we are. Wouldn't you say? No, no, it can't be. Please, Mom, open your eyes. It's me, your son, Potten. If, if you really can't see my face, then here, take my hand. Tell me if you're your son's hand. I've done so much to get to this point. Please, you have to recognize me. <coughs> no, 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 no. She's not dying here. I know yet she has more dialogue. Well, the temperature of his palm must have changed. I'm sorry. It seems I couldn't bring him back to you after all. Yeah, what happened to this place? The wait is over, everyone! The sale of our new skincare product, Romaritide Essence, will now begin. Oh, it's not something else. Another skincare promotion! And it's selling as fast as last time! Wonder what people would think if they knew what was in the last batch! Oh, Sea Dream's here too! Of course. Hey, Sea Dream! Again. Oh, Traveler Paimon, hello! Oh, I hope you two got a good rest yesterday after all your hard work. Of course! Nurse's orders, right? Anyway, are you here to take notes for your next article? Actually, I'm mostly here to help Officer Morgan wrap up yesterday's case. Ah, that reminds Paimon. That stuff sold like crazy, didn't it? Is it gonna cause huge problems? Hmm. No, nope, there's nothing to worry about. Unless modified, Butterfly Dew is an excellent skincare product that's completely safe to use. It's safe? Okay. Well, it's diluted, so it's totally different then, I guess. Besides, Officers have already retrieved all butterfly dew purchased on the market. Now it's just a matter of disposal. After consulting Miss Sierra Nervulet, I came up oh, with a way to neutralize why. any okay. harmful effects. So it'll evaporate naturally without polluting water or soil. So all the harmful effects are Anyway, you won't get like, uh, you know, like sim similarity. Anyway, fountains cannot be dissolved anyway. Fontaines. Wow. It's Sea Dream to the rescue again! Thank you for serving as our consultant, Head Nurse. All the butterfly dew we recovered has been disposed of, according to your instructions. Great! Good job, everyone! Also, you mentioned you wanted a copy of Watt's interrogation records. Well, technically, Potten's records. Anyway, I have them with me. Here, after he saw his mother for the last time, 
It was like all his mental defenses came crashing down. He put up no resistance during the interrogation and answered all our questions. We learned a lot. Well... Apparently, the formula was something he discovered by chance while helping the criminal gang produce synth. Later, he came up with the idea to dilute it and use the resulting substance as a skincare product. Hmm, he made something good out of me. Their supplier was Vache. Oh. But you could also argue that they were the ones doing him a favor. His operation helped Vache's gang dispose of an enormous amount of evidence. Oh, okay. Nah. <laughs> it made for a seamless collaboration. That makes sense because it's linked with the... One man's trash was another man's treasure. And there were no loose ends. Quite more to see. It's no wonder we never noticed what Potten's gang was up to. Vache again, huh? <laughs> Is there still no end to the harm he caused? Well, if it's related with primordial seawater and synth, of course. Make no mistake. The crimes of Vache and his accomplices will come to an end. Mm. It's only a matter of time. Since the Flood cut off their supply of primordial seawater, they've been forced to resort to riskier methods. Like using their private reserve to attack people on the street. Naturally, those attempts all ended in failure. After receiving numerous reports, we were able to zero in on the gang and eventually round them up. That sounds more like it! Based on what he told us in his confession, we pretty much had him backed into a corner. Even though he made a point of distancing himself from the gang while disguised as Rawat. He tried to throw us off his tail by reporting his accomplices, giving him enough time to transform back into Potten and see his mother one last time. But there was one thing he hadn't anticipated. Even though Potten had been missing for a long time, we were very much still on the lookout for him. So the moment he appeared in public after changing back to his original appearance, we caught him. So he tried this once before, huh? Guess he really did want his mother to see him again. But in the end, looking at the interrogation records, it seems like he spent the first sum of money he earned as reward on his mother's treatment. Yes, which is why I suspect that his initial motive for using the potion was not personal greed, but a desire to become somebody who had oh, the power it's not to even save greed, him. Man. It's just needing money to save him. Even so, he went too far. In the end, he got what he deserved. I understand. Thank you for bringing me these records. Why did you want them anyway? Potten was one of my patients, so I need to put together a medical file for him. My teacher always stressed that a person's life experiences are just as important to their file as their medical history. Why are you still treating him like your patient? Isn't he kind of beyond redemption now? Well, that may be true, but a patient is a patient, regardless of the choices that bring them to my care. Uh, one last thing, head nurse. Please keep everything you know about this potion a secret. It would be for the best if most of Fontaine yeah, knows true. nothing of its existence. I know my fellow officers and I will be able to sleep easier if, if that's the case. more crooks know that this potion exists, yeah. <laughs> Of course! Mm. Not to worry! <laughs> Thank you for understanding. I'll take my leave then. So, Sea Dream, did you really use that potion yourself? Why do you sound so surprised, Paimon? I told you all about it. It was quite a while ago now. You said the witch gave something. So actually it's just she using it to cover her, her face. You mean that story about the witch and the potion? So it was really, actually, genuinely a true story? Yes, it really, actually, genuinely was. But... I know, uh, there are some secrets I can't tell anyone about. Um, but considering everything we've been through together, I know I can trust you with them. Before I tell you though, could you follow me somewhere? I want to pay my respects to an old friend. Oh, is it that same friend? Of course! 
Alright. <coughs> I'm glad it doesn't end here and there's more. Hey, I'm trying to go here. <coughs> okay, this was unexpectedly long, but I guess. Um, I guess I gotta pause for a while, <laughs> processing some information. Making it long. Is that New Villette and Risley? I do not have seen dream. Okay. Oh, New Villette and Risley, they're here too. Good to see you, traveler, Paimon. I trust all has been going well for you. I haven't you. seen New Villette in a while. Big news, everyone. The Udax is <laughs> yeah. out of his office on important He's usually... business. Not in. It's usually in his office. Hmm? Is that genuinely something people would consider big news? Mm -hmm. well, why wouldn't they? Important business is a big deal. Ah, yes, you're quite right. When someone you care about requires emotional support, being there for them at the right time and place is of the utmost importance. After reading the Marichal Say Phantom's reports, I had a feeling a trip here might be in order. Take note. That, my friends, is how Monsieur Neuvillette shows that he cares. Uh -huh. We're both here for the same purpose, actually. To accompany Siegewain as she pays her respects to her late teacher. Yeah, okay. So the old friend she mentioned was her teacher, teacher then? The witch? The witch is the teacher. Oh, uh, sorry, sorry. Hyman didn't mean to be rude. It's only because Siegewain calls her that all the time, so... I doubt she considers that title to be offensive, Paimon. Don't worry. Indeed. In fact, I believe Sijuin would take it as a sign of affection. She has spoken of this doctor on many occasions, and it sounds like she was a truly generous individual. In those days, many people harbored prejudices against Melusines. She was the only teacher willing to take Sijuin on as a student. Wow! It's really nice of you two to be here for Sijuin. Guess you guys really look out for your younger colleagues, huh? A younger colleague? Well, that might be true for the new days, <laughs> but I'm not sure I can say the same. Sijuin is probably older. Yeah. Sijuin served a sentence in the fortress of Meripede hundreds of years ago. And after she did her time, she decided to stick around. She's been an integral part of our administration ever since. Strictly speaking, the head nurse has been around longer than most people in the fortress, myself included. Pretty sure that makes me the younger colleague. She served a sentence? What? Yes. Long before I became Udex, there was an ancient law in Fontaine that prohibited any attempt to transform another species into a human. Initially, I and most researchers believe this law to have been imposed due to ethical concerns. Okay. But now, it seems more likely that the law was nothing more than an insurance policy. A way for Egeria to ensure that her people would remain insulated from the truth thus enabling them to lead more straightforward, happier lives. Ignorance is bliss, as they say. Seasween had her reasons for choosing to obtain a human form, but the act was nonetheless in clear violation of the law. So it was against the rules, but she did it anyway, because it was the only way to, to let people see, to accept her. Hmm. Could you tell us a little bit more about what happened back then? Certainly. Siegewin does not object to her close friends learning about her history. In fact, I first learned of it myself because she confessed the truth to me of her own volition. Oh, we're gonna see another one of those. Let's see. Even with their daughter so ill, they kicked you out. The witch. <sighs> Stubborn okay. as always. And prejudice isn't a disease I can cure either. <sighs> Shame that I don't have the energy to get over there. You're laughable, you old witch. You want to save everyone in Fontaine, but you can't even save the patient before you. Master, what are you? I discovered a strange disease 
One I suspect that every Fontanian suffers from. But without witnesses or proof, no one will believe What a freaking... Okay. I thought this line was the... Then, yeah, that now makes sense. It's the witch's line. It wasn't that old lady. The trailer tricked us. Okay, that's how I thought I got more lines. It's the witch's lines. I had no choice but to experiment on myself to find a cure. But I hit a wall. And as you can see, it took a wretched toll on me. Then, I'll find a cure for you. And then you can go cure her. There's no need. I am beyond saving now. There's nothing you can do. But, Master... As I said before, a doctor's duty is to treat whatever ailments they can. I know, but they don't trust me at all. <coughs> oh. uh, that girl. She's your first ever patient, isn't she? Tell me, what cost are you willing to bear to see her cured? Do whatever it takes. Even if it means breaking the law and being punished for it. As long as I don't hurt anyone. Yes. Mm, that's a true answer. <laughs> Spoken like a true student of mine. Then I shall make one more final gamble. And see my experiment through to its end. Leave me for now. And come back in two hours. If I am able to work this miracle, then I will have found a way to save all Fontanians. And I shall be able to help you treat that girl. If not, then it means there is one more disease in this world that I cannot treat. In that case, do not come looking for me. I will leave you a parting gift. An accidental discovery happened upon through my study of this strange disease. It has little use, but it will at least help you cure this one patient you can reach. Okay. When Sijuin returned, the miracle had not occurred. She found a potion bottle in a note on the table. After using the potion as instructed, she gained her current form breaking Fontaine's law in the process. So, the potion... It is a potion, not that changed her uh, look. And after I had confirmed the veracity of the events, I gave my verdict. Oh. So that's what happened. Yeah, sacrifice and not the potion. I fear Sijuin only understood the full story after the truth about the dissolution of Fontanians was uncovered. When I reflected on all this with that knowledge in hand, I felt a deep sense of regret. As I use the law to uphold justice, there are times when I cannot help but acknowledge its ruthlessness. After the final details of the events surrounding Sijuin's transformation came to light, I checked several sources and, thankfully, the legal code does not require Sijuin to shoulder any additional punishment. Hmm. Wonder how she feels about all this. Since she invited you here, I imagine she intends to speak of these matters with you, no? Maybe. We shouldn't tell the details. Okay, well, we got more information about On behalf of the Marichalse Phantom, I would like to once again thank the Fortress of Merope for your assistance in the response to yesterday's prison break. Our head nurse and the traveler in Paimon did most of the heavy lifting, I would say. Sijuin seems to be in good spirits. I trust work hasn't been too hard on her lately. Well, she might be the only permanent medical staff in the <laughs> fortress, but there's plenty of people with medical knowledge willing to help her out. I am most relieved to hear it. <laughs> the way you're asking after her well-being makes you sound like a concerned parent. Ah, well, I, I won't lie. I've always seen myself that way. Showing your age a bit there, don't you think? Indeed. Actually, I often forget just how much <laughs> older I am than you. Yep. Well, while we're on the topic, what did you do before getting this job, anyway? Spend all day swimming in the sea from east to west and then north to south? Yes, and uh, yes. from the surface to the ocean floor on occasion. <laughs> wow. Impressive. Apologies, that was merely an attempt at humor. <laughs> you can disregard what I said. 
<laughs> no, that's impossible, I'm afraid. My imagination's already running wild. God dang it. Okay. Yeah, I wonder what Rice, uh, what New Milan does before he became New Dance. Okay, where is he doing? Oh, no. Alright. This was a good quest. You're here. The old friend I mentioned was my teacher. When she passed, her body was nowhere to be found. All that's left of her is an empty tomb. And even that's deep underwater now. I thought when she said, Oh, friend is the friend that doesn't recognize her anymore. It's, it's just her teacher. Sea Dream, the witch who gave you the magic potion, she was your teacher, wasn't she? <laughs> Sounds like Monsieur Nervulet filled you in. But it's undoable or something? After learning the truth, it must have been hard to process, huh? Well, to be honest, be using that after time, right? I realized what really happened that night, my first thought was that it kind of made sense. It seemed exactly like the sort of thing she would do. But she was planning to sacrifice herself and never told you. That's just who she was. If lying is what it took to get a kid to take their medicine, then oh. that's what she'd do. Alright, but why did you turn yourself in? I broke the law. Simple yeah, as simple. that. She... My teacher made her choice, and I made mine. She broke the law, but it saved a life. True. It's just, the way Potten framed it when he was asking you all those questions, it made Paimon really mad. You're not like him at all, and everything Nervalette said confirms that. And yet, you were still convicted and thrown in prison. It just feels so unfair. <laughs> unfair? I happen to think just the opposite. If I hadn't served that time, I'm not sure I would have been able to stay strong when he was questioning me. Well, what makes you say that? I knew you'd be curious. Let me tell you a story. Another story? Let's go. The verdict came down. Oh, shit. This Melazine is guilty. The Udex defended the authority of Fontaine Law, but he did not confiscate the Melazine's medical kit. Mm. And so, the fortress of Meripede gained a new little doctor. She still wore her hood and raincoat, even though it never rained in the fortress. Perhaps thanks to her human appearance, no one refused her treatment. Ah, that's true though. If it was just, she it was treated just normal, more and more it patients, and her sentence mm. grew ever shorter. So it wasn't all Finally, that the people of the fortress could not live without her, and though her sentence ended, she, she did not leave them either. Then one day, she received an invitation from the outside world. The location seemed familiar, and when she arrived, an old lady was waiting for her. She saw right through the Melazine's disguise, but didn't reveal it. Instead, she asked a question. What? Tell me, why do you think you gained the respect of so many people, despite being a Melazine? Because... I look like a human? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's been 50 years, Sijuin. Wait, this and is you the... haven't aged a day. I think everyone knows you are not human. I finally found you after all these years. Is this the friend that she sees? I still remember you now. Oh, it was you who saved me that night. no longer a melazine by then does it really matter if you're human or melazine uh, i remember the warmth of your palm uh, yeah that's other ways to it's quite recognize. unmistakable and you know what it hasn't changed one bit you don't have to hide Wait. anymore sejuin these days, everyone wants to make friends with Melusines. That's why she recognizes and I think her. That it's all because of you. Are you saying Potten's mom is I'm the friend? I'm sorry, I couldn't say this until now. It's the same person. But thank you. 
Doctor Melazine. Oh my god! I just, I just, now, you just click. It's an ending Paimon can get behind. It just clicked. It was the same person. I thought it was totally different. No wonder the mother recognized her more than her own son. Because it's the same friend. Oh my gosh. After hearing everything Potten said, I wanted to tell him that it didn't matter who he looked like on the outside. But it was too late. The warmth in his palm had already disappeared. I tried to treat him, but the roots of his problem had nothing to do with his face. I understand. Thanks, you two. I appreciate you being here for me while That's I talk this twist. through. Well, it's nothing. My pleasure. I thought they are not related. But I did think of that at first, but I think it can't be. Oh, there's one more reason I invited you here. It's about time I finally give you what I promised. In order to restore the appearances of the beast swapping victims, the Mauritius A Phantom gave me special permission to make a few bottles of that potion. And I made one extra just for you two. Uh, we don't need it though. Shouldn't we destroy it? Well, even if you chose to destroy it, I still thought I should give it to you first. You two did so much for me. How could I break my promise? Well, we'll keep it. fair enough, but anyway, Hyman's definitely not interested <laughs> in this stuff anymore. We'll just keep it in our inventory then. Still, if this is the very last yeah. bottle in all of Tavat, getting rid of it would feel like kind of a waste. Maybe we can give it a special meaning somehow. Oh, Pilot's got it! Melazine physiology wasn't affected by the Great Flood, right? So that means the potion should have a permanent effect on you! In that case, what do you say, Seedream? Ever thought about transforming back to the way you used to look? Oh, that would be great. If we can get Seedream back to Melazine form. But... What w will this affect? Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll see. After all, from the Melazine point of view, Paimon bets Melazines look the cutest of all. Paimon, after everything, do you really think it matters whether I'm Melazine or a human? True, it doesn't really matter, right? Uh, well... <sighs> what was Paimon thinking? You made up your mind a long time ago! <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's just destroy this thing. Leave it to me. Then yeah, we destroyed it, sure. In the end, <laughs> there was nothing. Ah, no. So much for that build up. See, maybe you can get CGV into. <sighs> the Worm of Lies. I see what it means now. I'd like to stay here with my teacher for a little longer. Are we not gonna uh, show the fact that actually the friend was really the mother? It wasn't really... Uh, it wasn't really known to us. I guess. Well. Okay, well. That was a good story. It, three hours. That was the long, longer story quest that I usually play. But it was a good one. Like, I would try to predict what's gonna happen, but most of them I was proved wrong. <laughs> And then I thought it was gonna, the story is gonna go with a simple early, uh, but then no, it went well. Okay. Add as. Thank you for. Maybe I'll do a pull right now just to see. Do I have enough? 
one thing. Do I have a mail? No promo gems. Why? Okay. You never know, this one pool might be it. I'll just try it. Fifty twenty three, I believe. Five star. No. Ah, whatever. Alright. Well, now you know what's my progress. <laughs> Alright, so I think that's it for. See you in story quest exactly three hours. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.